Awesome. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Radiant Wednesdays. We are... I wonder what wonder what week we're on with Radiant Wednesdays. I, I want to check real quick. I'm going to gonna do something new. How many weeks have we been playing Fire Emblem Path of Radiance? It feels like we've been here forever. Let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. This is week 15. This is the 15th Radiant Wednesday. Holy smokes. Crazy. All right, let's jump right in. All right. A little loud on my end, so I'll just turn it down a bit. Okay. Okay, so I grinded on a file. Like, I did the whole EXP grind thing. But I had to skip the story. So what I did is I put the story on save file 1, and then save file 2 has the grinded file. So when I get to the part where we get to, like, the base, I'll just go to save file 2 because that's where I did the work. All right, so let's just jump right in uh, to Great Bridge, because I believe I just flat out skipped this last time. Let's see who's here. Let's see who's here for Radiant Wednesdays this week. Hello there, friends. Hello, Isla. Hello. Brian Jim Jimenez. Yes, no, yeah, it is Jimenez. Omega symbol. Oh, man, that Omega symbol is going to follow me for the rest of time, isn't it? <laughs> yo, yo, yo. Yo, yo, Rachel. Yo, yo. Thammy. Hi, Trico. Hi, Thammy. Glad to be here on this wonderful Wednesday. Glad you're here, too. Radiant Wednesday. Pog. <gasps> Wednesday. 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 Uh, that always weirded me out. Why is it, like, Wednesday, but the D, E, S are silent? You know what I mean? Like, it's Wednesday. Day. Why, why is it like this? <laughs> Could you turn up the volume? It's a little quiet on my end. Okay. Uh, versus... Okay. Let's see. Let me see if I could turn up the desktop audio. See if that helps it. I mean, the snow is, of course, going to be very quiet. So, yeah. I forget if I narrated this part. I think I did. I think I did. I think we're at the narration. There we are. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. This is the first week I've been able to tune in. Oh, I'm definitely glad, Thammy. I'm definitely, definitely glad. No, I hate this chapter. No, please don't say that. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to hate this chapter. Oh, I pressed enter. Oh, shoot. Sorry, I skipped the map narration. It's okay. I'm sure nothing weird happened. The Great Bridge. Okay. Oh, no. Someone said they hate this chapter. Whenever I get someone who slightly says, like, oh, yeah, this might be a little hard, it's always, like, a nightmare. <laughs> so. All right, let's just jump right in, right? Hello, Trico. Hello, Super Zarek Bros. Good to see you. Good to see you all. Wednesday, says Trico Simp. Good old Trico Simp. Who doesn't say Wednesday? Day? I, I do say it, though I do say it ironically. I'm just scared that I'm going to say it ironically so much that I'm going to one day say it unironically, you know? Um, like, if I have to come to work, it's like, oh, Dean, uh, what what days are good for you? I'm like, oh, I could do, like, Tuesday, Wednesday, Day, Thursday. It's like, what was that? Uh, you know, Wednesday, Day, hump day. Oh, oh, and then realize it. <laughs> My Lord Ike, may I have a moment? Of course, what is it? The soldiers say that tomorrow we'll be able to see the Great Bridge. Once we cross it, we'll be in Crimea. That's what I've been told. It feels like I've been away for so many years. Crimea is the land where I was born and raised. It, it, to feel so removed from it. I feel now, at this late juncture, that I know almost nothing about my own country. It is an unreal experience. I know what you mean. I know nothing about your country either. I don't even know who we're fighting. <laughs> I mean, no, I... We're fighting... I legitimately can't remember. Okay, okay. Crimea are the good guys. We're fighting Dayan? I think? Yes. I think it's Dayan. Okay, I don't have the sense that we're back... We're on the brink of being back in Crimea either. I don't even remember this area at all. Maybe it's because I was born, born in Gallia and raised in the countryside. But countries are joined together like this all over the continent. I'm really in awe of it all. So am I. For one who knew nothing of life outside the royal villa, everything is... So very big. Hmm? Yes, big? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess you're right. 
When we left in Crimea, it was spring. The snows were, were melting and the days were getting longer and the weather was mild. It's been almost a year since we departed. Once, only a year, but the distance we've traveled to get here has been long and hard. It feels like many years have passed us by, and this is the land where I was born and raised. Ah, my dear sweet Crimea, how is it that you feel so far away? For me too, Crimea is my homeland. We're almost there, let's go home. It is as you say, my lord Ike, let's go home. Oh, what a romantic setting. Makes it hard to make an appearance. I guess I could just leave you two. Wait, who? Oh, <gasps> he's back! Yay! <laughs> he's back. Okay. Now I'm seeing that my voice is a little quiet. Okay, let me try to listen to the stream myself. I mean, give me a sec. Okay, so I listened to it for a bit. Honestly, it doesn't sound all too quiet, but I could try to adjust a little bit. I'll turn myself up a bit uh, and then keep the desktop audio at the same. So I think that should be good. All right. All right, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Also, hi, Carol. Good to see you. <laughs> good old Carol. Carol is weird. Go check out her channel. She does great animation. All right, here we go. Hey there, Ike. Looks like we stayed long. Uh, uh. Looks like we stayed alive long enough to be reunited. Aren't we the lucky ones? Renolf, my lord Renolf, how nice it is to see you again. My princess Olincia, welcome home. I curtsy, but the tale makes it a little silly. What are you? What? What are you so darn chipper about? Once I heard the news that the Crimean army had taken the day in capital, I ran all this way to come greet you. How go things in Gallia? You're not engaged in open hostilities with Dayan, are you? Day in and day out. Sorry, I have to make. I am legally ob ob obligated to make that pun every chapter. Anyway, not yet. What's that supposed to mean? In light of your army's success, the elders have finally agreed on something. Gallia will lend its full support to Princess Crimea's efforts to liberate her homeland. It's a done deal. Oh, I hope we get him for the party. I really want him. Like, I really, really want him. Really? So, is the Galleon army going to- We're going to establish communications with them and create a unified front. That being said, Gallia is here to support you. The Crimean army will always be at the center of the effort. Don't forget that. King Gallia is being most gracious. That posture will allow Crimea to lay claim to any victories we achieve. Don't say things like that. I'm shocked that you would understand such sub subtleties. <laughs> Who are you and what have you done with Ike? I don't believe you have the right to speak to me like that. Kidding. Actually, Soren, um, actually, Soren just lectured me on the same situation when we achieved, received reinforcements from Begnian. Of course, you are tutored by your nervous little staff officer. Now I get it. Has he snapped yet? He seems high strung. King Kangus, Kanagus, Kanagus, yes. Is always thinking of Crimea, isn't he? How can I ever repay him? Princess. Let's win your country back. When that's done, please rebuild the bonds of friendship between our nations. That would be the ultimate way to say thank you, wouldn't it? Y yes, yes, of course. Oh, please, I hope we get him so much. Okay, so Soren's just gonna report. Okay, good. Yay. Okay, so I'm gonna close it, and then I'm gonna reopen. Because this is not my file. So, yeah. Let's uh, close, and then reopen. Okay. And then I'm going to save file 2 because that's where I grinded with everyone. Sorry, just going to go do that real quick. Is this game worth buying? I think it's on sale on the Switch. Um, from, my, from what my understanding is, I don't believe this game's on Switch. You may be seeing three houses. In that case, I... I always will highly recommend three houses but um yeah so <laughs> i don't know uh this game i don't think it's available anywhere i'm 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 on em i'm on emulator otherwise i get this for switch myself 
Okay, so I think everyone's all nice and grinded. Uh, Ike is at level 10, Val uh, Valkyrie. Um, Miss is at level 10, everyone's all good, I think. So did we get Renolf? Please tell me we got him. No, we didn't. I'm so sad. I want him. I want him so bad. All right. Um. Yes, we are all good. Okay. Let's let's get going. I'm gonna read the chat real quick. Oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Let's see. How have you all been today? Asks Rachel. I've been good. I've been good. Uh. Pat, honestly, been not having a good week, but I'm having a good day. <laughs> uh, yesterday was good, and today was pretty good, but yeah, I, I had a pretty terrible, like, weekend experience, so, yeah. Uh, even though I did stream on Sunday, that was fun, but no, it was, it was, it was pretty bad this weekend. <laughs> Is this Grim Matchsticks on Expert Mode Nightmare, or even more? Grim Matchsticks. What do I feel like I know that name? Grim Matchstick. Oh, oh, it's uh, the guy from Cuphead. Okay. <laughs> I hope not. I hope there's no Grim Matchstick going on here. Hello, I have arrived. Hello, Ryan Carberry. I always want to say Cranberry. I was not expecting that voice acting for Renolf. Oh yeah, Renolf is like, I think Renolf might be one of my favorites to voice, honestly. We make a Kermit the Frog voice for a boss. <laughs> that we did. I'ma leave the stream in the background while working, multitasking. Thank you, Carol. That's that's always what I love to do, just uh, like like a nice little podcast or something. Wait, why is Azula here? Oh, oh, you'll you'll see how much like Azula she actually is. <laughs> Speaking of which, <sighs> okay, wait. I know her voice, but like I'm trying to like figure out how I do it. So they're finally here. Okay, so they're finally here, are they? Has the work on the bridge been finished? And your answer had better be yes. It isn't. No, General. Do you think it will work? Sometimes the simplest of traps offer up the best results. Lure the enemy in, and then finish them off one by one. Got it? Listen up, dogs. There will be no retreating today. We stop Crimea's advance here. We will not allow them to gain the comfort on, of their homeland. Any who do not fight to the death will face my lance. Okay, I was like, that couldn't be the whole cutscene. Okay. There's a bridge. Wow, it's huge. I doubt if Dane I doubt if Dane's going to let us cross over without objection. Yeah, I think that's very highly unlikely. Titan what what why Titania. No, it's Tatiana. Tatiana, it's time to march. Make sure the troops stay alert and move with caution. Understood, commander. Say, Ike, there's one thing I've been meaning to ask you. What is it? I haven't seen Nasir around. What happened to him? He was declared an enemy combatant, and uh, I locked him up. What? Hey, I understand you being an irk that he didn't mention testing you and all, but treating him like a criminal is too- Testing me? What are you talking about? Oh. Oh, he- Oh, you don't- Okay. Um. Uh. So, politics lately, huh? There's crazy stuff, right? No, we're gonna talk about this. <laughs> oh, no, don't fade the black. No. Oh, okay. Nasir is a day and spy? No way. That's not possible. He was our spy. You're telling me he was a galleon spy? None of this makes any sense to me. He worked for us on behalf of the king. But Dayan, as a Laguz, he would have absolutely no reason to work for them. But there was a gold Doan named Aina who was working as a general for Dayan. Are you serious? Yes, they, we were forced to fight her in the Dayan capital. When we attempted to capture her, Nasir intervened and allowed her to escape. He betrayed us. What? No, hold on a minute. Maybe that was... Hmm. If that's the case, then I could see why. No, even so, dang, te teaming up with Dayan is just too much. Hmm. I hate to interrupt whatever it is you're doing, but uh, we've arrived at the bridge. Oh, yes. Uh, okay, you know what? Let me speak to Nasir. Let me do that, please. Once we finish this battle, we can go together, all right? Oh, sure. Why not? Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh dear. Okay, here we go. All right, ha. Huh? Time for you to go to work. Mm, no one five more minutes. Dozing off on the battlefield? You've got a lot of nerve, don't ya? Hey, wake up or I'll burn you to a crisp. Uh, what? Uh, oh, uh, right. Has the enemy arrived? Yes, they just got here. Now get out there and do your job. Yeah. Yeah, but sure. I'm all over it. Yeah. What an absolute fool. Oh, is she finally here? Is that her? Patrine? She's finally here? We get to fight her finally? Good lord. Alright, here we are. Renolf, please fight with us. You're a good boy. Well, here we are. Oh, well, here we are. And there's a Dagon army on the other side as expected. They've al they're already in battle formation and waiting for us to give a warm welcome. Ah, oh, that's charming. That's just what I want. I was about to say why is Mordecai in beast form and Leth isn't, but I just remembered why. Okay. Oh, oh, well said. Oh, and by the way, I thought I joined you today. Yes! Not as a galleon, but as part of our army, right? It's, if it's a problem, I can always sit this one out. No, no, of course not. Thanks for your continued support, Renolf. Ah, the pleasure's all mine. Let's go carve us some Dayans. Yes! Finally! Okay, well, I hate to say it, but I kind of want to get a. I kind of want to get rid of um, Mordecai now, and keep keep Leth lose Mordecai. That's sad, I know, but I love I love Renolf too much. Well, I, well, wait a minute. Can I keep both? I'm curious. Can I keep both? Well, I lose Tanith. Eh, I'm not really too connected to Tanith. Well, let's see. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, items everyone has. Um, Mordecai. Let's give him a Lagoose Stone. Okay. Well, I guess this will be a test run to see if uh, Renolf is good. Even though I do love him. Okay, sweet. Uh, let's read the chat real quick. Hoo-hoo, I've missed out on Radiant Wednesdays for a while, so I'll be mega confused. It's okay, Bumblebutt. Uh, I don't think too much has happened other than Nasir was a was a spy. Kinda. Uh, hashtag Trico Bro should sleep more. I should. In fact, it was funny because I almost was like taking a nap before the stream started. Um, but then I realized, I'm like, oh god, I gotta get out of bed. It's like two. <laughs> so I like drank like half a Red Bull and like came up, came here and uh, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Dean. Thank you for encouraging me to watch Groundhog Day. I saw it for the first time last night, and I really enjoyed it. Oh, glad you liked it, Nancy. Yeah, Groundhog Day is pretty good. I, I think it's pretty underrated. It gets oddly depressing in parts, but I do think it's worth a watch. Um, yeah. I don't know. I, 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 honestly, I think kind of the best parts of the movie are kind of the beginning and the ending. Mainly the beginning. I feel like the beginning has, like, really good comedy, honestly. That's that's my favorite, at least. Hashtag sleep for Trico. <laughs> you, you speaking for her sounds like the 4Kids version of Nico Robin from One Piece and It's Amazing. That's how Nico Robin sounds in the 4Kids in the dub? Oh my god. Please. Oh, wait. They did make her Southern, didn't they? I, I'm slowly starting to remember that. Oh no, that's cursed. <laughs> Oof, how long has it been since Ranoff was with us? I think it was dirt. I think the last time he was with us was during the nightmare, like, chapter with the Dock Town and the Black Knight was there. That's what I remember anyway. I love the voices so much. <laughs> I'm glad, thank you. When, I, when she said har, I thought she was trying to say ar. <laughs> Ah, oh, or ha. Why does Patrine sound like a gender bent Tiana, the princess from the Princess of the Frog? Or is it just me? I, I, you know, I have to listen to Tiana again because, like, I can't imagine that voice for her, even if it was coming out of a female. <laughs> Okay, last question before I start. All right, which is the best Undertale song? Death by Glamour takes a cake for me. Undertale. Undertale music is like pizza. No matter 
what it is, it will always be good. Um, let me think. Honestly, I love Asgore. I think Asgore is my favorite song. Like, Berg and Trakung Asgore. It's really good. But, you know, there are just days where I feel just certain moods, you know? Some days I feel Death by Glamour. Some days I feel Hopes and Dreams. Some days I feel Megalovania. But I think Asgore is kind of the most consistently, like, my favorite song, I'd have to say. Like, it's really good. I think I just listened to it too much, and now it doesn't have, like, the same effect for me, and it makes me really sad, because, like, holy smokes. That song was the most epic thing ever when I first listened to it. Okay, here we go. Let's give it. Let's do it. Attention, let's go, and maybe I can catch a nap while we fly. Oh, boy. Wait. Bye. Can we... Can you spare Har? I guess we'll never know. Okay. Because they can't... They kept hinting that we could spare Har. <sighs> Should I try to spare Har? Sorry. I know I just went into... Let me... Let me look it up real quick. Sorry. Because <laughs> I do like him, kind of. Har. Fire Emblem. How to recruit. I know, I'm supposed to be playing this blind and... Have Jill speak to Har in order to recruit him. Okay, fine. Fine, we'll go We'll go get Har. Okay. Because, I mean, I like him. So, okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna bring Jill with us and then we'll uh, we'll get Har going. Sorry. <laughs> this, is only, this is only like a little detour. It won't take that long for me to like, load back up the game. Shoot, now I lost the stream. Gosh dang it. Okay. Jump in, jump in. Let's go. I mean... I, I, knew, I knew I needed Jill too. Um, so that is definitely my bad. But like, I didn't like think about it too hard. Okay, screw it. Screw it. Sorry, Mordecai. We're gonna leave you behind on this one. Um... Well, yeah, yeah. Let's leave you. Let's leave you behind, and uh, let's give uh, Renolf a shot. Okay, so Renolf, equip that, please. So you can always be. I this. I guess this band makes you always a Laguz, which is so. Oh, all abilities are slightly lower when using the band. Oh, okay. I get it. Okay. Still though, that's that's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Um, so, okay, we're not bringing Mordecai. We're going to bring Jill. And Jill is a little weak, so that's going to be really interesting. Okay, Jill. Um, screw it. We have to uh, give you something. Sure, just give you these. Uh, give you some vulneraries, I'd say. I don't think I have any, actually. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, well, let's just hope she doesn't die, right? Let's hope she doesn't die. Alright, let's go for it. Alright, here we go. Okay, sweet, here we go. <gasps> Look at Renolf! He's a little tiger boy! Okay. Go get him, left. Watch Renolf not actually be that good. Here we go. Go left, do your left thing. Super overpowered unit. I mean, not super duper, she can't die. Okay. Uh, keep Jill in the back. Ike, come on. Let's go. Void. Mist, we'll have you in the back. Um, oh shoot, wait, what? What did I do? What on earth? Wait, what? what? The heck was that? Shoot, I feel like I did. What? Why did you level up from that? What did you. What did you do? That was weird. Well, I won't make that mistake again. <laughs> that was really weird. 
Okay, we'll have uh, Nephany go over here. Volk. Super cool. Soren. Of course, Soren hasn't gotten a lot of action these past few chapters. I need to. I need to start using him more. Him. I like him a lot. He's like Brom, but cool. And then Stefan. I'll probably try to unequip Silver Bro. Use something a little bit more uh, subtle, like the Silver Sword. Tatiana. Alright. And Ilyana. I'll keep you guys together. Cool. Let's go. Alright. Of course they're going for Boyd. <laughs> I like Spider Dance. Um, the Spider Dance is pretty cool. I've never personally connected with it as much. I know a lot of people like Spider Dance, but eh, I don't know. But like I said, pretty much all Undertale music is great. Uh, I do like Spider Dance. Speaking of pizza, does anyone like pineapple pizza other than me? Eh. Uh, not me personally, no, not too much. Though, that being said, I love olives on my pizza. And that, like, apparently that's like the weirdest thing at. Okay. Alright. Alright, that's happening. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Sure. Cool. Alright, well, first death down, right? Alright. Oh my god. I hate those so much. I hate those things. I hate those things so much. That's so stupid. <laughs> that is so stupid. Alright, so uh, just have the Lagoos clear out the bridge, and then we'll bring everyone with us. It sucks because I don't know when Har is coming, so that kind of sucks. Uh, so stupid. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I'm curious, is Patrine actually here? Yep, she's here. Patrine's here for the first time. Oh god, what? How are we gonna do this? There oh my god, look at this. Look at this. There are way too many guys there. All right, you know what? Just send in the overpowered units and just them. Also, I guess Stefan has a killer bow. I don't know why. I need to change that. Oh, that's so stupid, though. I cannot believe that happened. Jeez, this map seems pretty brutal, honestly, because it's a straight line. Okay. Um, well, I mean, just stay there, right? Just form a line right here and uh, hope for the best. No, Vol Volk, stay back. Okay, wait, can you get hit by that stupid bow guy? I hope not. Let's hope not. Oh, I know what I could do. I could, uh, oh, I can't rescue, but I can shove. Oh, no, I can't. Of course I can't shove. I can't do anything. Okay, so what does this do? Ashera's Staff. Restores all HP to all allied units as well as restoring their conditions back to normal. Good lord. Alright. I hope she can't get hit from this distance. I really hope. I'm starting to think she might, though. That's why I'm starting to get really scared. Okay. Okay. Battle against a true hero is the most epic Undertale song for me. Oh yeah, there are also days where I love Battle Against a True Hero. It's so good. Dun 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 Oh, sorry. I, I've definitely seen a lot of anti-pineapple on pizza 
uh, comments down there. Here's here's a real question. Does anyone like anchovy, spinach, and pineapple pizza? Miss just made a kamikaze that did absolutely nothing and leveled up by it. <laughs> oh god! Why? Look at that. Dang. Pineapple pizza is top tier in my opinion. I respect people, but I respect people who don't like it. Not for everyone. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty solid. No one respects me and my love for olives on pizza. What's what's everyone's favorite mobile game? Mine's Cookie Run. Uh, mine, honestly, like probably Pokemon Go. Like that's probably one of the most unique mobile games I've ever played. Honestly. Um, I really dig it. Crazy enough, I'm getting a lot of worth out of Hogwarts Mystery of all things currently. What? What? What was that? What? Boo! What was that? No! What? A, what? <sighs> Stefan? No. <laughs> okay, let's see how. Let's take a look. Let's see how Renolf can do. Okay, Renolf, go for it. Are you good, Renolf? Okay, you're pretty you're pretty okay. Okay. Tatiana, get over there. Stefan, you too. I wanna say Ike as well. Like I trust Ike to survive, honestly. Well, I don't trust Torneo though, because he might die to like magic or some stupid thing. Alright. Uh, who got hurt? No one over here. Okay, well, that's good. Unfortunately, they had no physics in the shop, so I couldn't really do much. Oh, well, at least she got healed. That's good. I want to try anchovies at some point, but I want to put them up pizza until I've had them to know for sure. That's actually fair. Jill is useless. Jill! Jill really said life go burr. <laughs> Jill just heckin' died. I, yeah, that was embarrassing. Hey man, there's a lot of units to protect Southern Lady. I know, Jesus, trail seems like a nightmare. Asherah's staff only has three uses and completely replenishes every ally's HP except for the user who earns 100 HP. That's, that's so interesting. It seems like an overpowered item, honestly. <laughs> it looks intense. That move looks intense. For anyone who is in school, what's your most annoying class? Yes, what is your most annoying class, everyone? Oh, 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 here we go. Good work, Tatiana. Always bringing, bringing the heat. World History AP. Ugh, it already sounds bad. <laughs> economic theory. Economic theory? So, there's like a theory of economics? How does that work? Oh, no. Leth finally found a worthy opponent. Their battle will be legendary. Dang, Tatiana. Just going ham today. I'll have to say English because on Zoom he just talks nonsense and then just randomly yells at a kid. Oh, God. Ugh. That doesn't sound fun. Oh man, oh man, it just sound that sounds like the ultimate abomination pizza, though maybe I just like some spinach on pizza. Yeah, spinach is actually not as bad as people think it is. Uh, it's very neutral, very neutral flavor. <laughs> uh, for some reason, uh, anchovy spinach and pineapple pizza was like uh, uh, Professor Oak's pizza of choice from uh, Pokemon and I haven't been able to get it out of my mind for all these years like it's so gross sounding uh, but the way he says it is amazing just mm, anchovy spinach and pineapple pizza <laughs> okay let's see Leth is almost out of uh, cat juice so we'll put her we'll put her over there we'll put Renolf in the hole oh I can't put him in the hole either shoot all right we'll we'll make Renolf do this Go get him, Renolf.
Yeah. Cool, I'm glad Renolf lives up to the hype, honestly. I mean, I'll miss Mordecai for sure, but uh, I'm glad he lives up to the hype. Ooh, can I do it? Oh, okay. Let's try not to give her, let's try to make her not use the tomahawk as much because I don't want to waste it. She doesn't have a lot of good stuff, oddly enough. Is this, that's good against that. Okay, sweet, we could pull this off. Go get him, Tatiana. Man, Red Bull has really paid off, not gonna lie. I have to I have to see if I can get some for myself and not just steal from my dad's. Like it is really keeping me like oh dang it, Stefan. Okay, there are tons of pitfalls on this map, apparently. That's not fun. Okay. Well at least that I'm gonna wait for all these to go down. I hope Hard doesn't come out of nowhere and try to kill me. And then it's embarrassing because then we kill him by accident. I hope that doesn't happen. I should... Should I bring Nephany up? Well, I'm scared of reinforcements, honestly. I'm scared they're gonna come around our back. Okay, Jill. Just do that. And Ileana. Alrighty. Cool. Yay, he's healed. I thought olives on pizza was a normal thing. Oh, really? Yay, someone else who likes it. Olives on pizza is good, bruh. Olives on pizza is normal, but only the black ones. Guys, where have you been all my life? Good lord. <laughs> like, literally, my entire life, like, at parties and, like, birthday parties and stuff, I'd always get my favorite pizza, which is pizza with, like, extra all, like, literally just caked in olives. And everyone is always just like, ew, what? Olives on pizza? Ew, you know? And plus, I'm famous for only liking plain stuff. So everyone's like, how do you like olives on pizza? You know? Jeez, my people. Okay, so like I thought, to no one's surprise, there are reinforcements coming around the back. Okay, so let's, uh, let's have Nephany meet them at the pass. Oh, jeez, I need to give her some more stuff. We'll have Volt go, too. And we'll have, uh, we'll have Torneo. Actually, no, Torneo, stay there. <laughs> yeah, stay there, Torneo. I, well, Boyd, just in case. In case we need a little bit of extra firepower. Okay, I think that's good. Um, Leth isn't doing so hot. But, uh, I might have her go back and get healed by mist. Well, how should I handle this? Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, go back, get healed by mist. And then, uh, she'll go back to, like, the front lines. Even though her cat juice will have run out by then. Alright, Stefan, get out of that hole, please. Alright. Go, Ike. Go, Ike. Go, go. Go, Ike. Go, go. Defeat this. Oh, no, please. Oh, that's annoying. I see what people mean by this map. No! Oh, my God. Seriously? That's happening? Okay. Well, that's fun. Man, imagine if that was in three houses. Actually, it might be. I don't know. Maybe it's in the DLC or someone. Ooh, that's annoying. Don't hurt him. Don't hurt my boy. I gotta see how much this does real quick. Uh... Ooh, 10? No, that's not good for a Laguz. Shoot. We have to get him out of there. My favorite mobile game was Pocket Camp, but Google said no, and it made me delete it, and I can't play it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. I hate it when, like, phones are, like, you know they can run it. But then they're like, oh, no, we can't anymore because we just don't support it anymore. You know, it's so messed up. Breakfast pizza is where it's at, guys. Yeah, honestly, I love I love pizza for breakfast, <laughs> even though I know it's because usually when you have pizza for breakfast, it's usually when you had pizza the day before. So you constantly just eat pizza over like a day. And it's like, this is not good for my body. <laughs> 
I really, really like tuna on pizza. Huh, I've never heard of tuna on pizza before. I used to really like tuna. Not anymore, though. Crazy enough. Since we're on the topic of food, what's your favorite ice cream? My favorite is vanilla. <laughs> yeah, I know. Uh, I think I think mine is literally French vanilla. Like when it's kind of like yellowy, I really like it. Um, that being said, Afters had like a really good. Oh yes, come around our backs, please, please do it. Um, Afters had this like really good pizza flavor that's like Cookie Monster, I think, and it's like blue and it has like chocolate chunks in it. It's so good. It's so good. <laughs> If you ever if you ever went to a place called Afters, try it. I I definitely recommend it. Now then, let's see how things look. Ooh, ooh! Are you in range? Please be in range. Oh God! Good thing I left the reinforcements back there. Okay. Um, shoot, Jill. Oh, but I'm just so scared that she won't survive against horror. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay, we have to. We have to. Captain Horror? Oh, greetings, Jill. So you're still alive, huh? Good to see you. That's what I was going to say to you. You survived. I'm very pleased. General Sheharem left me in charge. I'm supposed to get her survi survivors and their families to Begnion. I can't die until that's done. Oh, I see. But then, Captain, why are you still in Dayan? I... Believe it or not, I'm a vindictive man. Revenge for a general? The general is something I couldn't let go. Oh, but that... Don't get the wrong idea. You're not the enemy I'm seeking. Huh, but... The ones responsible for General Shehirim's death are the Dayans. I re pretended to return to the fold so I could get close to General Patrine. I'm just waiting for my chance. But I think they may be on to me. My unit's a bunch of tough guys who serve as Patrine's watchdogs. Plus, I've been ordered to charge the Crimeans head-on. It's the Dayans' way of killing two birds with one stone. Don't do it. Come fight on our side if you're lucky to kill Dayans and we should share the same goal. Jill, I, uh, I don't trust Crimea any more than I do Dayan. I'm sick to death of serving countries. Captain. Still, I can't abandon the daughter of the man to whom I owe so much. Get some changing sides again. Really? Oh, thank you, Captain. No, you got that bad word. Backwards. Pardon? I'm a new recruit, so under you. So I'm under you. Thanks in advance, Captain. What? Don't be silly. Wait, Captain! <sighs> Alright. Well, turns out these guys are gonna kill him. Okay. No, it's fine. It's fine. I don't care. Who cares? Not me. Shoot! This is gonna be hard. So I have to protect Jill because she is not that good. Um. Okay. Wait, can I rescue Jill? No. Okay. Um. Boyd, heal up. You're gonna need. You're gonna need this. Okay. Uh. Oh, I could let have left back them up. Go for it, left. Cat juice time. Nice. Awesome. Oh, this is gonna be tough. Okay. Um. I feel like if I put Soren there, he's just gonna be annihilated. But, oh, mist! Shoot! H how, what am I gonna do about mist? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Okay. Mist, get out of there. Get out of there with the mages. Okay, I don't think they can reach him at that range. Uh, this this could happen though, so I, I better take out this guy. Yeah, silver sword, let's go. Go get a mic. Ether! Yeah. Killer bow. Okay. Put that back. I can't believe out of all the units we get in this, we only get like like two bowsmen, I believe. 
or three, but one needs the. Oh my god. Okay. Oh boy, this is happening. I guess. Okay. Um. Renolf. Can you heal? Can you just heal Renolf? Cause I'll 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 keep you around if you want. Yeah, let's try let's try elixir or something. Yeah, I want to keep Renolf uh, right there. Tatiana, go get him, please. Get this guy. I don't like him. Okay, Iron Axe, let's go. Yay! Now we don't have to worry about that fool anymore. Okay, cool. And I got a blizzard. Is that everyone? Oh, Captain Har. Yeah, okay. Alright, here we go. Let's hope this works out. Basically, basically, it's adding eggs mixed with cheese onto pizza bread and then cook it in the oven. Oh! Breakfast pizza is a different thing. I thought you guys were literally just saying pizza for breakfast. Okay. Butter, pecan, or cookie dough for me. Oh, I love cookie dough ice cream. I mean, I know it's... It feels like cheating, because it's like, this is just cookie dough, but it's like, I don't care. <laughs> okay, don't hurt him that much. Don't hurt him. French vanilla, coffee, and strawberry are my favorite flavors. Coffee is excellent. I forgot how much I love coffee ice cream. I, I don't know why I never get it, honestly. I love coffee ice cream. I remember trying it on a whim as a kid and, like, really liking it. Professor Oak, why? <laughs> oh shoot, I'm actually really far into the chat. I'll try to speed things up. Yeah, yeah, it's so weird. It was like just such a weird, because he says that and then goes somewhere else. So you could just tell it was just kind of like a joke. You're just supposed to be like, what? But then they never explain it. I love how we can watch a stream of a game and talk about something completely unrelated to it. Now it's somehow full circle makes sense. <laughs> well, I mean, you got to do something while all these battle animations play out, am I right? Spanish 4 is my most annoying class since I have literally no idea what the teacher says half the time. Dang it, in Spanish they're supposed to teach you Spanish. They're not doing their job. They're not doing their job! God. Spanish was a very bad class in my school, but not because, like, it was, like, annoying. I mean, it was... It was... Not because, like... What's the term? I guess I'll explain it. The teacher... I don't think the teacher knew Spanish. So it kind of made things a little awkward. And a little cringy. Dang, Ike is just bringing it today. Literally, that's why I love the stream. <laughs> me too, me too. I love it when you guys uh, have a cool conversation. I adore it. I legit have no idea what's going on. I'm just here for the chat and Trico's commentary. Whatever Trico's doing, it sure looks complicated. It's... You know, I don't know if it's just because I'm used to Fire Emblem, but it doesn't feel complicated. It feels like I'm just like, Cat, go attack. Okay, here, here's a moment of truth. Let's see how this goes. Silver Blade, too. Oof. Uh, good old Leth. Can always count on her. I'm some I'm sometimes not excited for social studies in Zoom because there's one weirdo who comes into the meeting and uses one of the students in my class's name and starts talking crap about at the teacher. Oof. Dang. I hate that. I hate those cringy students that just ruin it for everyone else. I'm not into Fire Emblem, but I think it's a good game for players. Hey, that's that's a good that's good you uh you respect people who like the game. Ugh! That guy's a javelin because of course he does. If Jill dies, I'm gonna be so upset. You guys better not have javelins. Oh boy. Okay. Okay, I think that was the only one, thank God. The tags say Animal Crossing, so I was confused for a good second when I first joined. Yeah, I really need to fix the tags on this thing. Um, I don't know why, like, I think it's just because the default tags are Animal Crossing, I, because I always upload Animal Crossing stuff, and if I need to edit it later, I will. Um, but I need to fix that for Radiant Wednesdays. 
<gasps> Allies! Whoa! Is that the Crimean army? Oh ho! It is the army that comes again. I see the Crimean flag in the rear, but lo, who do I spy in the distance? Green hair, orange dress, and eyes bewitching fair. Alincia comes. Let us here. Let us to her aid ride. Okay. <laughs> It's funny, because at first I thought they were talking about Leth. Because I thought they said orange hair, green dress. And I'm like, oh, Leth. But then I was like, oh, no, Alintia. <laughs> the princess has returned. Count Bastion returned to the castle, castle and informed Geoffrey at once. I will move ahead and inform the princess that her retainers are here to meet her. Lady Lucia, keep your wits about you. That we are excited is fair to say. But show the enemy no weakness weaknesses lest he does cut us down like the autumn's wheat good advice and you watch that you aren't waylaid on the way back to the castle okay even if dan unleashes on myself the full force of the army's wrath there are they are no match for clever bastion i'll meet you at the castle gate anon right also oh, these are her retainers okay that's that's pretty cool are they actually on the map no not yet okay Okay, I have to be super careful. Yeah, so that guy is a javelin. Screw that guy. Um, how am I going to handle this? I could have Nephany try to take him out. Yeah, let's try this out. Yeah, go get him, Nephany. Let's see, let's see if this works. Shoot, not enough. Dang it. Okay. Okay, okay. Um, okay, well, I could have Knife Boy do his knife thing. Let's go, Stiletto. Let's go, please. End him, please. Yay. Okay, so Javelin dude's out. Good. And then we could have Jill hide there. Okay, that works out amazingly. Uh, she has no vulneraries because, of course, she doesn't. Um, we'll have the general... Uh, how do I want to handle this? I should have the general just kind of start attacking. Well, you guys are, st are stuck in there. I might... Okay, I might have the general hold you guys off. Yeah, let's try that, actually. That's pretty smart. Okay. Come on, Steel Lance. Let's go. Torrent, Torneo, you could do it. Oh, shoot. Dang, Tor Torneo. Nice. Okay, and then uh, let's... Yeah, go back here. We'll have Har, Har just keep his position. Well, actually, no. You know what? We'll, ha we'll have Har do this. He has a brave axe. Those are really good. Let's try it out. Or, they're okay, I guess. <laughs> Whoa, three attacks. Okay, I could, I could go for that. Why not? I wonder if Har is good to use. I'll have to look into that afterwards. Uh, and then we'll, we'll block the. Oh, I think all the dragons are gone. Sweet. So. I think these guys are good because they're they're stuck, so let's have Miss go a little closer so she could go heal Jill. We'll keep the mages here, cause why not? Um let's see. How are you doing over there, buddy? We'll have Tatiana back you up. Uh my or not, okay. What about you, Ike? Okay. Um Renolf, how, how about you just go over there? Okay, I'm surprised that one worked. Uh, <laughs> good lord, that was that was comical. That was that was comical. All right, I, let me just double check. Everything's all good. Everything's all good. Okay, sweet. I'm doing photography work for college, and it's so much writing. So I currently dislike photography. Wow, that's so weird. You have to write a lot for photography. Dang. It seems like something that's more of like an experience. Oh, but then again, I guess because of the pandemic. Okay. 
Uh, dang, they're all beating up on Renolf. I hope they don't do too much damage. I'm not into Fire Emblem either, but I really enjoy the chat and Trico's commentary. Oh, I'm so glad. While I'm here, I might as well draw Trico Bro's little avatar. Ooh, cool. I'll post it in the Discord later. My username is Shib. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll be sure to pin it. For the most part, school was fun until I was forced by my parents to do more academically and do classes I'm not happy with. Are you, like, in college? Because I totally get it. Y'all have some crazy pizza concoctions. I'm scared to say I'm curious to try some of them. Pizza's a weird thing, man. Everyone has their thing. I think it's unanimous. I think it's... Would you... Is it kind of crazy, like... I don't know. I guess there's other stuff. But, like, is it unanimously just, like, humanity's favorite food? Pizza. Sweet. That guy's down. Chuck E. Cheese pizza. You know, Chuck E. Cheese pizza... It's so weird, because I feel like the only one who liked it. Like, everyone always said, it's like, oh, this pizza was so bad, but... I actually kind of dug it. Pizza is just the ultimate customizable food. Anything you want can be on a pizza. Hmm. That's true, actually. I mean, heck, uh, like Goofy's Kitchen in uh, Disneyland. I believe they literally had, like, peanut butter pizza, right? I think they did. I love chocolate on my pizza. Ooh. I'm not daring enough for chocolate on pizza. <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese has their own Animal Crossing Island. Oh, do they? That's kind of neat. Is it like an advertisement? Like, I thought they were blocking that in like Animal Crossing. Like, you can't do ads or whatever. Chuck E. Cheese is one of those places that were that was fun to remember, but absolutely hate think about, hate to think about going back to. I can get that. Uh, I definitely think it's like, I definitely think it's like a little kid place, and I do feel like if you get older, it kind of loses a bit of the magic. Um, especially because like, you know, because like one my favorite part about Chuck E. Cheese, oddly enough, was like um, the playground, like the you know you climb in the tubes and stuff like that. Like that's fun. Like that was so fun. Uh, but nowadays, I'm just like, oh, God, all the germs in those tubes in the in the ball pit. Ugh. Like, I don't even want to think about that. Ugh. Plus, their arcade was always, like, kind of lame. I don't know. Mine was kind of lame. There was, like, I think they literally only had, like, Star Wars Original Trilogy, which I played the crap out of. But other than that, like, they had, like, nothing else worth playing. I much preferred, like, um... I mean, I don't know if this some of this stuff is California only, but, uh, uh, what's it called? John's Incredible Pizza is pretty good. Um, Dave & Buster's is also pretty good. I, I've only been there a couple times, but, yeah, it's definitely, like, a lot better place if you're, like, an adult and want to try something adult. <laughs> uh, I also remember Gameworks. Uh, I don't know if that's a California only thing, but, uh, at a mall near me, they, we used to have, like, a Gameworks. It was this huge arcade so good but i i got so depressed because i went there like about like three years ago and they shut down completely and that was like my childhood and it survived until my 20s and then all of a sudden just like dead and i was so sad <laughs> anyway are you ready to fight are you ready to die we must give it our all to protect princess alincia my fellow crimeans now is the time we stand together and fight for the life of our homeland yeah. All right, let's see how you guys do. Do your thing. Whoa, that bow sounded like something from Zelda. I was always scared of Chucky when I was little. You know, it's funny. I was never scared of Chucky, but now I feel like if I went back to Chuck E. Cheese, I would be scared of Chucky because I think Five Nights at Freddy's ruined Chuck E. Cheese for me. Like, I am not even, like, kidding. <laughs> Thanks, guys. That actually helps out a lot. Thank you. Chuck E. Cheese pizza was alright, but I preferred Damon Buster's. Do they do pizza? 
I've only been there like a couple times. It's weird because whenever like people go to Dave and Buster's, it's either like to drink or to like do arcade, and I only go to when we do the arcades, honestly. Okay, let's see. Renolf, Renolf is like dying. I need to get him back to mist. All right, go back there. Um, how do I want to handle this? Stefan's not in good shape either. But I think he has a vulnerary, so we'll have him take that. Cool. And then we'll have Tatiana... Actually, we'll have Ike take out this fool. Let's go Killing Edge on this guy. I think Killing Edge does more anyway. This guy looks like a toughie. Yay! Killing, death, decay. Okay. Tatiana, do your thing. I think Iron Lance will be enough for this guy. Shouldn't be too hard. He's just a mage. Thank you. Dang it, Tatiana, why are you always so cool? She is so overpowered and I love her. Okay. Um, yes, Renolf is like running back to mist. You guys are done. Okay, so I'm gonna bring you guys back. Uh, Jill, be careful. Mend some Jill. Mend. Alright, and then bring you guys back up. There we go, Boyd. Torineo. That's just a boss walking right there. Har. Okay, and then Volk. Nephany. Nephany, fire! Okay, so keeping keeping the band together. Cool. Band of the Hawk. Sweet. Uh, okay, sweet, you missed. Alright, sweet. The animatronics were a little literal nightmare fuel for me as a kid. I mean, I will admit they didn't look good, but... They weren't Nightmare Fuel until, like, uh, Five Nights. I hate the new mascot of Chucky. I like the old one. Yeah. I don't know. I I, I feel like I just can't bring myself to care, honestly. Um, Because, like, once I saw his new design, I'm like, yeah, that's about right. You know, I don't know. Though the... The old one did, like, scream 90s, though. So it does make me sad to like see it gone. I've seen those horrible Chuck E. Cheese costumes on eBay. They look so old and cost up to a thousand dollars. Good lord. I mean, I mean, I bet it's cool to own for like a collector. Like I've always wanted to own like Blockbuster merchandise, and I hate it because it feels like the easiest thing to like get if you just like play your cards right, you know. But I wasn't old enough to, like, really, like, you know, have my own money to do that and also hunt it down, you know? Like, ugh. Because Blockbuster, growing up, Blockbuster was actually, like, my favorite place. Like, legitimately. Like, loved going there, looking at movies. They used to have games I used to rent all the time. I really miss Blockbuster. Hi, what did I miss? Not too much, David. Just, uh, gonna fight General Patrine. Gonna fight her. Yeah, we had a full-blown pizza argument. <laughs> Oof, gotta go finish. Gotta go put... I'll post my finished art, like, uh, tomorrow. Oh, cool, cool. I got a new game, uh, Pokemon Sword, and I beat the game in three days. Nice, nice. Hope you had some fun with it. Who'd you pick as your starter? Every time I think of Chuck E. Cheese, I think of that one illustration of Chuck E.'s head getting smacked. Oh god, I don't want to see that. <laughs> it's been a week already? That it has, Captain Butterbuns. That it has. I'm late, but I'm here chilling. 
Did you know you could transfer your save data from Path of Radiance to Radiant Dawn? I did, actually. I, I think I learned that, like, a few weeks ago, and I was like, wow, that's kind of neat. Like, all the units you have in this game uh, will transfer to uh, Radiant Dawn. That's actually really cool. Uh, it's kind of like Mass Effect before Mass Effect. By the way, oh god, I just saw, like, the Mass Effect Legendary Edition details, and... Ugh, I'm so excited for that game. Like, it's funny, because, like, I didn't think that would be, like, a day one buy for me, but... I'm thinking it might be a day one buy. <laughs> Like, I love Mass Effect so much, and, like, because at first I was like, I mean, if it's literally just a re-release, but no, I, I heard, like, they're fixing, like, um, they're fixing Mass Effect 1's gameplay to be a lot more streamlined, which, thank you ahead of time, because that game sucks. I'm sorry. I love the story. I love the characters, all of it, but the game just sucks. <laughs> And it was just so awkward because whenever I tried to do a Mass Effect playthrough, I'd always have to go back to one and start from there. And then I pretty much am just like, oh, I wish I could just go to the two. I hate this game. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. Also, I saw like the textures on like some characters like Zaid and Thane. And I'm like, oh my god, they look, they look amazing. So I cannot wait for Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Not to mention... Um, I do think Mass Effect kind of was like The Sims in regards to how badly the DLC, like, they they got really cheap with their DLC. Like, it was brutal. Um, so having it all in one place, just you have all the DLC for Mass Effect, you don't have to buy anymore. Like, that's awesome, honestly. Sorry, I just went on a whole big Mass Effect rant. <laughs> I would totally make, like, a Mass Effect video if I could. That's, like, one of my favorite franchises. But yeah. Okay. Uh, Jill's good. Honestly, we don't even need Jill anymore. Left, go back. Nephany. Sweet. Okay, so I think everything's good up back there. Um, I don't want to handle this. Where's Randolph? Oh, I got scared. I thought Randolph, like, died or something. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's so annoying. Oh, thank God. Okay, got over there without a fuss. Iron Blade time. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll just go back. Yeah, and I, okay, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it, I knew that was gonna happen. All right. Oh, I'm Bastion. <laughs> That guy's gonna be funny. Dude, I'm from Europe. Always wondered what the Chuck E. Cheese animatronics look like IRL. Yeah, think like Five Nights at Freddy's, but like not... They're not as creepy, but they're essentially Five Nights at Freddy's. That makes sense since Radiant Dawn was after the events of Path of Radiance. I wish more games did that. Like, let you trick... Like, transfer save files like it's so rewarding even if it's something dumb like let you transfer like your name like that's why i always loved black to white too because it was just so gratifying like going to your house and it's just like dean's house and you're playing like as another character not as your like original and it's like oh it's so cool i wish more games did that man you know like oh man heart cold soul silver and you could like decide the name of red oh that'd be so cool oh man patrine has her own theme Ha <laughs> ha! Do you like your meat rare, or do you like it charboiled? That's how we do it at Curls Jr. Let me know, and I'll cook you up just as ordered. Ha 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 Oh! That's nasty. Sorry, soldier, but your order was up. Sorry, I just wanted to say that once in my life. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're getting annihilated over there. But there's nothing I can do. I'm sure 
Princess Alencia would be like, Ike, you could have saved them. I was going to give you like 500 gold. Chuck E. Cheese was almost going out of business. I thought it, actually, I thought it was out of business. I thought like, because of, you know, like COVID and all that, like it just couldn't survive. The one by my house, I think is out of business, but I'll, I'll have to go check. <laughs> I just know because it's a great Pokestop. It's like right by my house. It's like a gym. As Scott the Waz once said, I'm not an RPG guy. Dang, Scott the Waz is so great. Honestly, his work ethic is insane. Because he's like... If I, had to, if I had to compare him, honestly, he's kind of like a Diet Jontron. But he uploads. Like, he uploads a lot. <laughs> and they're all quality, you know? He's a very he's a very excellent YouTuber. And I'm I'm definitely glad he's getting the recognition he deserves. Okay, one more and then I'll go back. Yo, wait a minute. Do you guys remember the pizza theory where they allegedly reused pizza that customers didn't eat and put the slices back together with new cheese? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. I mean, okay. I feel like if that happened, it probably would have just been one establishment, you know? I really don't think Chuck E. Cheese had the business model of, like, reuse that cheese, reuse that pizza. <laughs> like, they had to know that was going to make him go under. Oh, that's so gross, though. Ugh. Okay, um... Tatiana. Okay, try to get him. Thank you, it worked. Cool. Wait, is pull? No, uh, axe is good. No, wait, wh what's good against him? Nothing is. Boo! What's good against you? Wait, how much health do you even have? You're at 25. Okay, I can't play around, actually. Um, can I attack? Nope. Uh, shoot. How do I... Uh, uh, I'm scared. Oh, she has, like, no... She has no vulnerabilities either. Okay, I need to... I need to go back to Mist. We gotta take this nice and slow. Uh, Ike. Are you at full health, Ike? Yes, you are. Okay, sweet. I don't think General Patrine's gonna come out and get us, so I think we should be good. Ether. Okay, uh, let's just have Stefan move over here. Okay, I think we're good. I think we can have the troops move up now. Sweet. Okay. Let's try to... I'm curious, should, should I try to take off the stone? Because it's like nerfing him, right? Let's try it. Okay. And then we'll wait for his cat juice to replenish. As for Leth, your cat juice is at full, so we're just going to bring you up. That guy can't shoot from there, so I think we're good there. Okay. And then we'll keep Jill close. Well, actually, let me double check something real quick. Just to make sure no one's on. Yeah, everyone. Okay, they can't fire anymore. Good. We're doing good, but I feel like one slip-up will cost us, so we have to be super careful. Torneo. Soren. Liliana. Bleed. Volk. Nephany. Okay, I think we're good. Is Chuck E. Cheese gonna live in the streets like Jeffrey Giraffe? Oh, don't even make me so sad. Poor Toys R Us. I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. <sighs> that was where I found my Lucario amiibo before it even was sold. God, I miss Toys R Us. 
Like, that was a place, like, I legitimately still loved going to as an adult. I think that was also the place I learned for the first time how expensive Lego sets are. Like, I'm like, you know what? I get, like, a Star Wars set. Maybe I'll get, like, a little tiny one, maybe, like, ten bucks or so. And then I look, and I'm like, okay, get, like, a little ship, whatever. Like, sixty bucks. Whoa! <laughs> Looks like we're just talking about good old Chuck E. Cheese pizza. I'm gonna go play some Uno with my family. I'll tell you the deets of what happened. Good luck, Kaylee. I hope you, uh, I hope you get a draw four on them. On them. Give them a draw four. Show them who's boss. I don't know if I want to go for General Patrine. But that's the thing, if I instigate combat with her, and sh she's gonna kill me. So I have to be careful. I can't just do whatever I want. Okay. Yes. Uh, silver sword. Let's go. Silver sword. I love how fast it is. Just... Yeah, I don't think General Patrine will instigate anything. Though I am... Scared. If she comes out, should I try to fight her? I might try to fight her. I have a really bad feeling about this, though. Yeah, I have a really bad feeling about that. Okay, let's get over there, please. Now I'm really scared. Go get him, Har. Har, Har, Har. Oh, I really don't want to redo this map. Please don't one-shot Ike. Get over there. Okay, uh, mist, heal, and then keep going. If anything, if something bad happens, I could always rescue Ike uh, with mist. I should be able to anyway. I may be in range for that. I don't know what that was all about. Okay, Leth, let's have Leth go up. I trust Leth to survive. Corneo. Bleed. Oh. Tiffany, Nephany, I mean, and Ileana. It sounds like I'm listing off the names of like patrons. <laughs> Special thanks to my top tier patrons Nephany, Torneo, Ike, <laughs> Stefan, and General Patrice. <laughs> Why does it sound so legit? <laughs> oh boy. Oh, hey, here we go. Here she is. I love her theme. You. You're the knight my, that my father battled. Well, actually, that was Black Knight, but I appreciate the gesture. Anyway, if I had known you were going to grow to be such a thorn in my side, I would have reduced you to ashes when I had the chance. Guess it's not too late, though. Die. Okay, good. Ike, you can do it! Yo! Sorry, that was probably spiked. Oh, dang, that was cool. I don't even know. That wasn't even an ether. That was like a great ether. Good job, Ike. Okay, I feel a lot better that Ike actually was able to fight back against her and did get one-shotted. I'm very happy. Okay, they're getting decimated over there. Don't worry, Ike will be there soon. Oh, that makes me so happy. Whew. 
Chuck E. Cheese, where a kid can be a kid. Oh god, that's nostalgic. Where a kid will contain diseases from our ball pit. <laughs> yeah, that is the number one place they had to shut down once this all hit. There were a lot of companies that used Animal Crossing last year, and man, it was weird. Hey, I don't blame them, honestly. Like, Animal Crossing is, like... Animal Crossing was on fire last year. I mean, that's why you're all here, honestly. <laughs> like, my channel was, like, not like wasn't even a thing until, like, I hunted for Raymond. No one cared who I was until I hunted Raymond. Okay, so 98% chance to hit. I think that'll do good. Let's do it. Silver Sword against General Petrine. Let's go. Yeah, got her. Your Majesty. Uh, forgive me, please. Oh, I don't want to die. So scared. Oh, well, don't don't make me feel bad. You're supposed to you're supposed to be unredeemable. Good job, Ike. Yay, the flame lance. That'll go great with my uh, Tatiana. Okay, Stefan, get back here, please. Or just die. Okay. Leth, go get him. <laughs> Good lord, this is so stupid. <laughs> Don't worry, I will go myself. Oh, he actually made it, sweet, okay. Um. Honestly, I don't have to bring everyone. I don't know why I'm doing that, actually. Actually, yeah, I don't know why I'm bringing everyone, just screw it. Animal Crossing New Horizons was a big thing when it was realized that so it would only be natural for companies to take notice. For sure, for sure, for sure. Haha, <laughs> you can't hurt Ike. He took down General Patrine. Looks like we're naming uh, naming baby names down there. It's a girl, girl name. Hmm. Girl name, girl name. Dang it. I always think of like cool guy names, but I never think of a girl name. Oh, got got a name or uh No, I won't I won't say that. I was gonna say Seto. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding though, don't name her Seto. Seto. Also, I, I I think it's very sweet you're getting uh names from like the chat. Do you ever feel like you get lots of tickets, but you can only get the small stuff? At Chuck E. Cheese's, for sure. Um, and it's so funny, too, because every time I was like, I'm going to save up my tickets for something great, you know? And I never did. Like, I would always go there, and I'd forget the bag, and I'm like, okay. And then I have to get more tickets, and then I'd essentially have, like, six Chuck E. Cheese bags in my desk. In fact, it's funny. I think I still have, like, an old Chuck E. Cheese bag with tickets in my desk. One day, I'll redeem them. Also, I saw that was a bad level up. Has anyone seen the gatekeeper situation with Fire Emblem Heroes? Yes. <laughs> That's so amazing. I love that so much. Okay, well, you guys just got decimated, so I'll uh, I'll defeat you guys. No problem. Iron Blade time. Go get a mic. Nice. And that was with Iron Blade, too. Like, that's not even that great a weapon. It's so funny how toxic the fandom got with him winning first place and Marianne deserves to get first place. She's so cute. Yeah, honestly, Marianne's great. Um, wait, just give me a sec here. Uh, yes. Okay. Okay, I think we're good. Okay. Yeah, I'm glad Marianne got, like, first... What was it? Like, first place for females, I believe? It was how it worked. Um, yeah. Honestly, I didn't really care for Marianne until I learned about her whole plot thing in uh, the second half of Three Houses, and I was like, uh-oh. That, 
Uh oh. <laughs> like, I felt so bad that I pretty much have to recruit her all the time before part two. But yeah, I've pretty much loved Marianne since that day. Uh, she's great. Though I've never. I don't think I've ever used her as a unit because I've never done, like, a Golden Deer playthrough. Because I always, I always, like, recruit her, but I never use her, you know what I mean? It sucks, too, because there's a ton of units I want to use. Like, I've never used Lysithia. Um, I've never used Claude. I've used Leone, because Leone's, like, my wife. I've also used Ignatz. Sweet. Okay, cool. Oh, I got a heavy spear. Nice. Tatiana's going to have some heavy weaponry. Awesome. Okay, well, <laughs> glad you're glad you're finally here, Ranolf. We'll just have him put that on so I don't forget to do it next time. Okay, come on, just win. Are there any people that need healing? Ranolf, Leth, Volk. I think everyone's all nice and healed, right? Yeah, so we don't need any mending. Okay. Win this map for us, Ike. Win this map. Yay! Oh, shoot, I forgot you have to seize, not wait. Okay, sweet. Cool. Sorry, guys, just give me a sec. Alright, sorry for the wait. Just had to open my door here and kind of air it out a little bit because it was getting a little hot. When I play this game, it kind of makes the entire studio get really hot. And since it's an enclosed space with a lot of insulation, um, it's, yeah, the air could get very musty. And uh, if, I, if I'm not paying attention, I'll get a headache. So let me just drink some water here. Alright, and let's read the chat. Let me see if I can get caught up. I would say that it's mainly because Gatekeeper doesn't have a background and Marianne overcomes her depression. Gatekeeper is such like a little cinnamon bun though. I really like would have like there was that whole like theory where like Gatekeeper is like a descendant of Alm and like all of a sudden he's gonna pull out like Falcon or something like that. It was getting to the point where I was like I would unironically love that as like a DLC chapter or something. <laughs> I would unironically use Gatekeeper. <laughs> Fortnite is going downhill from here, folks. Is it? I mean, it probably doesn't have the same presence it did years ago, but like, did, they have like all those crossovers going on right now, right? It makes me so sad too, because like Mandalorian is in um, Fortnite now, and I'm just like, Man, that would have been really nice to have him in Battlefront, but it's okay, we got him in Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite gets all the cool stuff, it's so, like, ugh. All the Chrom lovers were angry that Gatekeeper kept them from having a Brave alt, even though he has had, like, five different alts. Oh, but is there a lot of Chroms in the game? No, that makes sense. Chrom is amazing. He's definitely one of my favorite Fire Emblem characters. Hmm. 
Nah, Krom should have had at least 50 alts. <laughs> Skipping along, seeing where I could talk, jump in. Not a whole lot happened at my game of Uno. It was mild for a game of one. Were you playing only one? Or were you playing against one person? Okay. <laughs> How come there's not a lot of people here? Eh, I don't know. Maybe people are just getting burnt out on Radiant Wednesdays. Who knows? I mean, we are nearing, like, the end of the game, you know? I mean, we have been doing this for, like, 15 weeks now. <laughs> so I completely get it. Not to mention, it's at the most awkward time in the week, you know, two, two to five in California times, you know. Um, so I'm sure Stadium Sundays will, like, take off a lot better. Not to mention, it's, it's one of the most random games to, like, stream. Hi. Hello, Zon3 Game TV 2089. Hello. Do catch you. <laughs> I kind of forgot that I was ironically calling it cat juice, um, so, <laughs> forgive me, I just unironically call it cat juice now, because most people want to watch fire Animal Crossing videos rather than Fire Emblem. Yep, it's true, it's true, and Pokemon videos, which hurts me. Alright, Princess Alencia, welcome home, it's so good to see you safe. Lucia, Lucia, is that really you? I am no spirit, see, flesh and bone, through and through. Oh, Lucia, you have no idea how long I've wished to see you. And I, you, Princess Alencia. When my brother Jeffrey told me you have been lost, my world went dark. When I learned you were still alive, I was so... And then Jeffrey is safe as well? Happy day. Are there others? How many Crimean retainers have survived? Well, there's Count Bastion. That silver-tongued rascal is as loquacious as ever. Loquacious, that's a word. Also, General Tagio, Marque... Marquis Kettle's Orphan, Silok, and Marquis Met Mitnala are all with us. The soldiers we have contacted so far do not even number 100, but if they know you've returned, retainers hiding throughout the land will surely come pouring in. Yet my existence, it is not known to the general populace. There's no need to worry about that. Tales of your exploits and day and have reached every corner of Crimea. In every village and every town, the people are talking. Our fair king had a hidden child, they say. The secret princess of Crimea is fighting to save us all. She's done nothing. <laughs> In addition, Dane soldiers ha have been frantically searching for a mysterious and elusive princess Crimea. Okay, okay. Crimea. Yeah, Crimea. Who cares? There we are. There, there are the guys we like. All right. News of your actions a day and reached the ears of King Galia through Nasir. I then told Lucia, who passed it down the citizenry. You know, the thought that Nasir is a traitor just doesn't feel right to me. I can't believe it. You think I didn't see that? You think I don't see that? Well, you kind of didn't, Ike, because you you knew that he was going to betray you. You had that whole thing where you're like, you're suspicious, Nasir, and there's a traitor among us, you know. Silly Ike. Look at what we know about the medallion. We discovered it thanks to his hints. He's helped us throughout our entire journey, and that, at least, he was not false. Yet, if he will not speak, there is nothing I could do to save him. Let's go see him. One way or another, I will loosen his tongue. This way. Oh, boy. Here we go. He's being kept in this supply tent. We wanted to keep him away from the other soldiers. Huh? What is it? He's he's gone. I, I brought him breakfast this morning. He was here. Oh great. Ho 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 ho. Looks like I couldn't keep his hands on me. Oh ho ho ho. That's what I imagine he sounds like getting away from us. Alright, here we go. Alright. The Crimean army defeats General Patrine, one of King Ashnard's feared four riders, and finally arrives ho- Four? There are four of these people? Oh my god. Whatever. The princess's return is met with the jubilation and tears of the retainers who have managed to survive. As long as we have Princess Alencia, Crimea will be liberated. 
These are the words that gave the people hope as they endured the harsh rule of a conquering country. The silent masses who long for the restoration of their homeland slowly begin to give voice to their dream. Surely, they think, this chance to see Crimea freed will not be wasted. Yay! Yay! Chapter 24, baby! Battle reunion. Ooh, battle reunion, okay. Battle tendency. Sorry. <sighs> What's going on in this neck of the woods? Look at that castle. Look at it. Delbray Castle. <gasps> Classic Delbray Castle. Who the heck are you guys? Dang. You're a looker. <laughs> Can it be? There is no mistake in my words. The princess has returned to Crimea. Lady Lycia serves as her guide. They should be on their way here as we speak. How long it's been since we've seen the princess. We have been... <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. We have been living for the day where we steal the hearts from Dayan's army and bring her home. And now it has, it has come. Indeed. For his majesty, for the queen, and for the cr crown prince Renning as well. We must act as one and support our beloved princess Alintia. Yes, if all goes well, our dearest wish will soon come to fulfillment. There's no time to wait. If we wish to properly greet the princess in her retinue, there is much to be done. Right. Let, let's let everyone know. We must divide the tasks and, be, and begin preparations for a feast once and for all. Or one, for once. At once. Yes. And flowers must be prepared for the princess's chamber. Oh, we mustn't forget music and entertainment either. I suppose we'll have to polish the silver table where I was hiding, too. You, you possess such refined things. I figured a rustic boar like you would have sold them for a lamb shank. Lamb shank. Okay. I received the silver from his majesty when I was awarded my knighthood. I may, I have been saving it just for such an occasion. Well done. Get ready. We are going to be very, very busy. Ha ha. What a fantastic day this will be. Oh god, what's gonna happen here? Okay, I'm gonna go back to the chat real quick. Da -da -da. Not many arguments or fighting, I just wanted to play regularly. I should have played Monopoly, it would have been way more interesting. Monopoly is kind of underrated, honestly. Uh, it's a great party game. It, it sucks because I got Jacob uh, or Vincent Plus 2 Monopoly, and I got him, like, My Hero Monopoly, and I got him that like two years ago, and he hasn't even like unwrapped it. But he's like, one day we'll play, and whenever we go to play, we never play. <laughs> Hi, Chico. Hi, Sage. Good to see you. I still hope and pray that one day I'll be able to afford the Hogwarts Lego set. Oh. Oh, that would be so good. Ugh. Oh. Dang. Honestly... I don't, it's just so weird, because I don't know if I'm just, like, I'm getting to, like, an early midlife crisis at 26, where I'm just, like, I want to play with Legos, you know what I mean? Like, I, I unironically just want to have, like, a Lego set. <laughs> like, I just want to build, like, X-Wings and, like, a Death Star or something. We're here to talk crap on inanimate objects, not human beings. J-Station does suck, though. Who's J-Station? Is he a YouTube man? Did he get cancelled? The most powerful rat, Charles... <laughs> I did see that video. The most powerful rat, Charles Entertainment Cheese. Ooh, Hogwarts. What's y'all's house? Uh... Oh, oh, I'm a Hufflepuff. I'm a Hufflepuff. Uh, you, you know... I feel like I'm just so... I mean, it's so hard because I want to answer Potter more honestly, but whenever I do, I get Hufflepuff. And whenever I'm like, I don't want to be Hufflepuff, I always get something different, you know? So, I think I'm just stuck. I think I'm just Hufflepuff. The sorting hat sorted me. I'm Hufflepuff. I actually really wanted to be, like, Ravenclaw. Um, or Slytherin, honestly. Uh, 
for Hogwarts Mystery, I actually put myself in Ravenclaw, and I'm like, Ravenclaw's kind of neat. I like them. Honestly, Monopoly is the game for ruining relationships. <laughs> uh, you know, it's so funny, because uh, I didn't know how true that was. I mean, I didn't ruin relationships, but re I remember working at Regal, and, uh... I mean, it was, it was all in good fun, but I remember I landed, like, on, like, some sort of thing, and, um, I, 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 like, needed him to sell to me in order to, like, stay in the game or something like that, um, but the thing is, is that, like, <laughs> like, he was, like, dominating, but, like, I just wanted to stay in, but, like, he wasn't, he was, like, kind of, like, saying, he's just like, oh, I don't know if I want to sell, and I was just, like, I was just like, sell to me, like, unironically. <laughs> and everyone else just started, like, laughing. Um, <laughs> it was de it was definitely funny. Uh, I don't know, I guess you had to be there. It just sounds weird when I re-explain it. When I was an edgy teen, I used to be in Slytherin, but now I'm in Ravenclaw. Oh, lucky. I was an edgy teen. I definitely aimed for Slytherin. Um, I wish I was Ravenclaw. I'm a Hufflepuff. Alrighty. Dang, I am like 20 minutes behind. I'm just gonna speed run this. Gotta go, guys. It was nice hanging out with you for a bit. Bye, Carol. Bye bye. Even though it's 20 minutes later. Bye bye. <laughs> you have to understand they have to think about his movements or else someone dies. Yeah, no, this game gets some stressful stuff sometimes. Boyd would totally be a top tier patron. <laughs> he would. <laughs> BRB, gonna change my patron name to General Patrine. That's amazing. <laughs> Top thanks to my special patrons, Chuck E. Cheese, Ike, The Chat, and Lucario Amiibo. Maybe Ike would also be a top-tier patron because he helps his friends. Ooh. <laughs> I simp for my friends. <laughs> The idea of naming future children after my OCs is a dangerously tempting idea. It's one of those things where I'm just like, okay, if I'm in the moment, would I do it? Would I do it? I think I literally have a cousin uh, named Atlas. And honestly, the name is so, like, amazing. I know... <laughs> I feel bad because, like, it's, it's one of, like, those kind of, like, weird names, but... Me? I'm just like, that is such a cool freaking name. <laughs> I love it. The old days on Chuck E. Cheese, we used to use tokens, now we use cards. Oh, really? They, they switched to cards? Oh, that's no fun. OC, OC, you were named after the two bravest characters I ever made up. <laughs> I'll fight for my fictional anime crush boyfriend. Uh, I told- that's a mood. That is totally a mood. Recipes, I really love watching your Pokemon videos. In fact, I think I miss them. <sighs> same, same. Uh, though, that being said, honestly, I think I might bring them back soon. Because the channel has kind of reached an all-time low in viewers, and I'm losing subs, so... I'm kind of getting to the, like, I want to finish my, my uh, island renovations, and I'm still going to do Animal Crossing stuff for sure, but I think, I think I'm just going to try to just do stuff that I personally am just really passionate about, you know, and just get back to doing, like, more Pokemon stuff, and, you know, just see, just see how that does, you know? Because I really want to do, like, video essays and, like, top tens, because I really love doing those. Anything Trico does is enjoyable. Thank you, I appreciate that. Sweet. Okay, and then the chat became talking about French, so I think we're all caught up. Great. All right, awesome. The Crimean retainers are waiting for us at the Castle del Bray. Yes, in your absence, Princess, we use the cellars beneath the castle as a secret meeting place. It is there we have contacted other retainers, and no one was discovered. We disguised ourselves as merchants and peasants, and Dan looked right past us. Okay, cool. 
Merchant's hot, Jeffrey is one thing, but I cannot imagine Bastion as a shopkeeper. No one could. Is this the only time Alincia has smiled? I think it has. That's kind of that's kind of wholesome, actually. No one could. That's why he dressed as a street street performer. Now that I can see, I'm sure it suited him up, suited him perfectly. Did he juggle and gamble about? He he. And Jeffrey, never have you seen a merchant with such perfect posture. That sounds just like him. Oh, okay, that's kind of wholesome. Princess Alincia seems to be having a wonderful time. She's been smiling and laughing for hours. Oh my god, this is going to be the weirdest conversation between all these guys. It seems she and Lucia grew up together. She feels completely at ease around her. The princess seemed to be of good cheer when she was with us as well, but I suppose she was putting on a brave face. When I see her in this light, I'm reminded that she's still only a young woman, and I'm a beast! What we see now is the princess as she was before Dayan's attack. That is the true Princess Alencia. It's good to be home, isn't it? We still, we've still many battles ahead, but for tonight, we should relax and let ourselves forget our cares. No one could continue this fight under this stress forever, right? I suppose you're right. Yay! Ike, I'd like to report- I don't know why I always feel the need to just <laughs> talk about that. That's all. By your leave, I will excuse myself. Cool. Oh, and there's no- there's no, like, per person that showed up. Okay, sweet. Awesome. Uh, how much bonus XP? Jeez, we got a lot of bonus XP from that. Holy smokes. Does bonus XP stack up? I, you know, I get, I'm going to research this. Okay, so bonus XP, 785. So I'm going to put 785 on my whiteboard, and we're going to check bonus XP um, when I beat the next map. And then see if I have that same amount. Because I thought it stacked, but maybe it doesn't. Let's see. Okay, so I got to give people good stuff. Um... Oh, uh, yeah, you. I have a ton of stuff for you. Oh, I thought I did. Oh, no, there we are. Ooh! Ooh! What's heavy spear? Good against armored foes. That's pretty cool. Uh, dang, actually, you have a lot of stuff you can use, uh, Nephany. Okay. Oh, yeah, we'll give some into you, bro. Yeah, we'll have you take that back and then give you maybe, like... We'll do that. Heavy Spear. Heavy Spear for the Heavy Man. Oh, yeah, maybe get rid of the chest key. Maybe. I don't know. I feel like some of you guys need vulneraries. You, you need vulnerary, yes. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I need to buy some for you. Oh, sw oh, dang it, dang it! I thought they had a physic. I'll buy a men though. Yeah, sure. Um, let's just put in the con convoy. Um, yeah, vulnerary. Let's give that to. Uh, where, where, where is she? Tatiana, where are you? There are you. Okay, and then let's buy a couple more for the cow. Convoy. Okay. And then uh, we shall sell. We're going to sell the keys. Because we don't really need these. Um, because we have Volk. I mean, I'll keep one, but like. We don't really need them if we have Volk. What are these? Blue gems. Oh! These are just straight up for selling. Okay, sweet. Okay, sweet, sweet, sweet. And I think we're all good. Oh, shoot. I forgot about Stefan here. Do I have any swords for Stefan? Brave sword. Why not? Just in case we need him. Um, yeah. Vulnerary. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, yeah. We're not. We're probably not going to use Mordecai anymore. Sorry, man. Boom. Okay, um, let's do it. Honestly, 
Do supports help? Like, I feel like they help kind of like... Okay, I want to see what goes on here. Hey there, Leth. Hey, Renolf. Okay. Hey, yes, Titus. Turn, they turn. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's cool. Okay, so they're just talking about, like, racism, racism against humans, but they're like, oh, they're, but they're cooler than I thought. They talked in animal language, so Renolf was like, Renolf, Renolf, Renolf. And Leth was like, meow, meow, meow. Mist and Jill. Oh, oh, there you are. Back again, Mist. Uh-huh, because you didn't join us for supper. Okay, so she's just being a little edgy girl. Okay. The only reason I do the supports is because I think it helps them in combat. I know, like, for the other Fire Emblems, um, you get bonuses if you're supported with each other. Like, I think you get, like, higher accuracy ratings, I believe. I don't know. If someone wants to correct me, feel free. All right, let's go. Okay. <laughs> and then the chat began, became talking about French, so I think I'm all caught up. <laughs> Why does Mist have a deep toad voice? Mist's the number one toad fan. Is Mist a... Is that, is that a toad voice? Is this a toad voice? I guess in some ways. I always thought toad was just like, Hello! <laughs> Speaking of Toad, Toad singing All I Want for Christmas. Is that a thing? Is that a thing? Wait a minute. Is that a thing? All I Want for Christmas. <gasps> oh, I gotta, I gotta listen to that. Oh, shoot. I hit the mic. Sorry, guys. Let me reposition it. Okay. Oh, my God. I gotta, I gotta see that. I gotta see that. I can already imagine it in my head. Just all... <laughs> all I want for Christmas. <laughs> okay, I can't do a Toad voice, but I can do a Renolf voice. So, all right, here we go. Oh, today's the happy day the princess returns. Yet the goddess sees fit to bring rain. Calm rain is like a mwah, kiss upon the face. A scent in a... Mwah, and feel unparalleled in kind. Mwah. Stop it! Stop it! Reunions in the rain are most heartfelt. Say, ba uh, say, Bastion, how far do you suppose the princess and her escort have come? Why aren't they here yet? Sigh. Listen, friend. <laughs> you have asked me that same question 58 times, and I have responded 57 times. Okay, regardless of how funny that actual, like, dialogue is, I always forget to actually sigh instead of just saying sigh. Um... Reminds me of a joke from Andromeda, because uh, <laughs> I played Mass Effect Andromeda recently, and there was an amazing moment where Ryder was like, dang, uh, dang it, why couldn't we have just landed the ship closer to the actual destination? Sigh. It just unironically, and <laughs> I just died. <laughs> so amazing. Anyway. But now, 58 comes anon. You need to calm yourself. Stop it! I know, but it's only a little while longer. Make no mistake, our princess will arrive today. I understand your impatience, I really do, but you're like the general of our little army. If you act so, the men will react in kind. Oh, you're right. A true knight, I oh, a true knight is the essence of composure. Take a deep breath. Breathe in, and breathe out. <laughs> and now give me a kiss. Please! Oh, whew. See? Don't you feel better? Hmm. Oh, blast, it's no good. I'm going to, I'm going to go check on stuff. What am I supposed to do with him? Is that him? Oh, no, he, it's him going out. Okay. <laughs> he rode out on his horse, I guess. They're here. I can see them. What? Really? That's them, isn't it? The princess's army? Where? Show me where you're looking. Oh. Jeffrey. I knew this was going to happen. Jeffrey, that's not the princess. Those are Dayan troops. I knew that this was happening. Oh. Oh, look. It's Alicia's death army. Some of you about what I said doesn't sound right. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here they come. They're bigger. They're badder. 
Okay. Once we cross the hills, we'll be in Delbray territory. Count Bastion went ahead of us, so they should know of your return by now. Speaking of which, here he comes now. And I suppose he couldn't wait any longer and came riding to meet you. I'm sure he has nothing but good news and no bad vibes. Princess Olencia! Lady Lucia! Bastion, there's no need for you to rush so. I'm coming at your direction anyway. We've been attacked! Castle Delbray is surrounded by enemy troops! No! It can't be. Jeffrey's acting as a decoy. You must continue on this road to the southwest. So the enemies found us here, huh? Nothing to do about it but change course. I'll lead you to another hiding place. What? What are you saying, Lucia? We must help Jeff, help Jeffrey, Bastion. Luck was not with us, Princess. We have no choice. We'll have to abandon our ca companions in Castle Delbray. No, we will not. Jeffrey and the others have survived so much already. I will not abandon them. Princess, please understand. If we could do so without danger to you, we would gladly risk our lives to go back. We cannot do this. Please, Lucia. You can't. We must go to the castle. Bastion, you must not do this thing. Jeffrey is a knight. In the name of our friends, honor, princess, you must escape. No, they survived this long. They're alive. No. General Ike, we don't have much time. While we stand here squabbling, Dane scouts have may spot our position. Please move the army southwest of this road. No. Oh. Pardon? What did you just say? We're going to the castle. If it's surrounded by day and troops, we cut our way through and join the other knights. Understood? Weren't you listening? I said we had no choice but to leave them behind. If we, they were lost to us the moment the enemy discovered and surrounded them, they're not so lost that we can't take them back. You are the general of Crimea's army, are you not? Even if only for the moment? I would have hoped that you would act more in accordance with your responsibilities. I didn't choose or ask to be general. I was put here by manners of time and circumstance. But as a mercenary, I have a contract with Princess Alencia that's still in effect. That means she's my employer. And right now, my employer says she wants to go and save the people stuck in that castle. Is that correct, Alencia? Yes, I don't want i don't want anyone else to be sacrificed. So we're going to help them. If you're so worried about the princess, I'll leave her here with you. And you can keep her safe. My Lord Ike. Until the princess's army is out of sight, we must not let the enemy spot them. Do what you must to draw their attention. Yes, sir. Okay, we have to save those guys. Ugh. They're coming into view. Combat formations. Okay, here we go. And we're down to 11 troops. Okay, great. Well, let's take a look at the map. I'm curious. What's going on with this map over here? We got bad guys, bad guys, very bad guys, super bad guys. Dang, it's gonna be hard getting over there. Hopefully we can save Jeffrey. Holy smokes. This might be tough. Um, okay. I hate to say it, but we might have to ditch Ileana. Let's see, because we have Ike, Leth, Mist, Nephany, Void, Stefan, Volk. We might have to ditch Ileana. Just keep Soren. I hate to say that. And then Renolf. I love horror, too. Oh, that's hard. This game doesn't give you enough units. I mean, it, I mean, it doesn't give you enough spaces. Okay. Okay, I think this is good. Now, like, do do two saves. Why not? Perfect. All right, let's go. These Crimean refugees are no no easy meat, and there are more of them than I expected. Let me see. They all. These Crimean refugees are no easy meat, and there are more of them than I expected. Hmm. General Rickard, enemy reinforcements are approaching from the east. Aw, oh, what? It appears to be troops from Princess Crimea's army. The army that brushed aside our troops in day and then defeated General Patrine at Raven Bridge? They're marching towards us? <laughs> Fantastic. I was getting bored hunting stragglers. 
Let's smash all these curs and wrap ourselves in glory. General Jeffrey, it's the Chimian army. Princess Alencia's army is headed this way. Fools, what are you thinking, Bastion? Oh, Princess, it's not too late. Uh, okay, I'm losing my voice here. Um, let me see. Fools, what are you thinking, Bastion? Oh, Princess, it's not too late. Please take wing and flee. Our goal is to rescue those knights near the castle. Attack! All right, here we go. Go get him, Lagoos, my, my Lagoos friends. Okay. Cool. Keep going, my Lagoos friends. Well, Torneo can reach. Okay, sweet. Go get him, friend. We have to get there as soon as possible, and this is going to be really hard. Because we have no flying units. Ah. I sneeze at you. Okay. Uh, Boyd. Ah, Boyd. Hand axe, yes. Back him up. Woohoo! Boomerang. It always comes back. Nice. Here we go. Alright, do your thing. Pull axe time. Just use what you can, Tatiana. Stefan, go, go, go. Yes. Go for it. Dang, this is going to be hard to get there in time. Husbando. I've seen there was a deleted message, so I don't know what the original one, but just said Husbando, Kaylee says, uh, which someone replied, most of the guys from Danganronpa and Bakugo, I stand by that. So I'm assuming everyone's talking about Husbandos right now. For me, Haru pers from Persona. Haru's pretty cool. Ooh! Ugh! Jeez, this is gonna be hard. Oh no, why? Why, please? Uh, mine is Tamaki from Oran High School Host Club. Oh, uh, yeah, he's like the original. Yeah, he's the OG. Good old Tamaki. Um, I remember going to a high Oran High School Host Club watching, like, panel. Well, not panel, but, like, you could watch anime at, like, AX, Anime Expo in California. Um, and I went to, like, Oron's room. <laughs> and, oh my god, just the fangirl squeals were, like, crazy. Um, and I... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, one time, a girl, like, sitting beside me, he, like, even leaned over. It's just like, I imagine all this is just kind of, like, annoying or something to you. <laughs> or something. <laughs> I mean, like, in a playful way. It's just like, you know... And I was, I just said, point blank, just without, like, just totally blunt, just like, no. As a guy, there are times when I too must fangirl, and she, like, loved that. <laughs> Dimitri from Fire Emblem. Yep. No, Dimitri. Dimitri is, like, the man's man. Like, men want to be him, women want to be with him. <laughs> yeah, Dimitri is awesome. <clears throat> I 
when you don't like Fire Emblem, but the voice acting makes the story interesting. <laughs> I'm glad I'm able to, like, at least make it, like, enjoyable. Do you think Bastion is a healer and heals everyone by kissing them? <gasps> oh, I mean, if I didn't have to use Mist, I would totally use Bastion. It'd just be like, here, let Bastion help you out. Mwah. <laughs> oh, I feel like that's canon. <laughs> Same. My favorites are Luigi, Yoshi, and Toad. Oh, everyone's talking about favorite Mario stuff? Let's see. Toad's one of my favorite char Mario characters, says Super Zeric Rose. And then... Okay, I'll just ignore what's going on back there for a sec. Uh, Yoshi and Toad are my faves. My fave? <clears throat> I do like Dry Bones. I do like Shy Guys. Honestly, I feel like my favorite, though, is probably Bloopers. I love Bloopers. You know, I just realized, everyone's talking about, like, Mario protagonists, and I'm like, yeah, the best Mario characters are, like, the enemies, man. <laughs> what can I say? The, the Mario RPG series, like, always build up the antagonist. Well, not the antagonists, but, like, their enemies. Um, like, especially Paper Mario. Like, you get, like, bomb -om, uh, ba bomb companions, uh, Goomba companions, and I love it. Lucia Bastion, are you sure you want to do this? The, wor the words of Ike ring yet on m in on my ears. We were so trapped by our own ideas that we were unable to sympathize with your feelings. I'm terribly sorry. Because the two of you... Because the two of you think me above all else, you say you will sacrifice your lives for me. Yet, even if I'm able to borrow back Ike's strength and win back Crimea, if the l cost of that victory is the lives of you two again, I... Or you two... Cost the lives of you two, I shall never smile again. And joy, never again would that emotion fill my heart. Oh god, Alincia. Poor Alincia. Please aid Ike and rescue Jeffrey and the others. Then return to me. Come back alive. For you, we would do the... We would the world... What? We would the world itself apart. I feel like that's correct. But it just sounds weird. Okay, so they're helping now. Whoever they are. What, do you, what can you guys do? <clears throat> okay, he's a mage. So that's kind of neat. Does he run weird? Okay, no, he runs okay. Okay. <laughs> he just looked like he ran weird. Are you pretty good? Let's see. Oh, I love his character model. I love his character model a lot. Oh. No! <laughs> Okay, cool. Clear the way. What can you do? Oh, you're just a you're just a swordsman. Okay. I mean, I guess not just a swordsman, but you're a swordsman. How do I want to do this? Left, go on that bridge. Good left. Okay, so there are a ton of guys here. There's Ricard down there. I could blast through these, and then I could go up here too. Tatiana, get to that house before they, just, they destroy it like they usually do. Hmm. All right, Nephany, uh, Stefan. Yeah, try this out. Uh, Silver Sword. Yep. Good, good job, Stefan. Always awesome. Man, imagine if he had Gale Force from Awakening. He could like kill someone and then immediately go again. Oh, God, I missed that ability. Remember when you could give it to Lucina? Like, if you, if you, <laughs> quote-unquote, bred her right? Okay, uh... I cannot... Renolf can reach, but no one else. Okay, that's, that's fair. Go, Renolf. I'm so glad we have Renolf on our side. I didn't know how much I actually liked him. <laughs> Alley oop! Alley oop again? Okay. Cool, cool. Let's have Ike go through the sides. Because I, I feel like Ike can cut a path. I shall cut a path. Okay. Iron Blade's good against him, so I think we're going to use that. 
Dang, Ike became quite awesome, honestly. Like, he was, he was, like, okay before he had his class upgrade, but now that he has his class upgrade, he's actually really, like, good. I'm so proud of him. Yay, and he got, like, a level up in his sword ability, too. He's just getting better and better. Okay. Um... I'm trying to remain cautious because I know what's going to happen. I'm going to get cocky and then I'm going to die or there's going to be even worse <laughs> um, reinforcements. Okay. So we got those guys going down there. I think we're good if we go up here. Yeah, let's try to get the boys up there. And Volk. Cool. I think that's good. Oh shoot! I forgot about. No! Don't do that! Don't do that! Please! Oh, I hate that so much. Luigi is the best character. Luigi's great. I love Luigi. Curb your enthusiasm theme song starts playing. <laughs> Trico Bro does a face reveal, but he rick rolls everyone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Isla. I don't understand why you what people want a face reveal. He's a Trico. He's shown his face many times. <laughs> Bro, he's done a face reveal already many times. He's he's doing one right now in the bottom right of the screen. I know. I know. It's so crazy. People always want face reveals. It's crazy. Hi. Hi, Altaf stays. Hello. Good to see ya. We are beat. We have beaten a map and are on to the next one. Yes, let us hope it keeps going good. Looks like it's sweeping, sweepy sweep. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Here she comes. Speaking of Animu, I just watched one episode of Clannad, and I'm and I'm into it. I haven't watched Clannad. I just know it is famously sad. And I have to be careful about watching sad anime because Sword Art Online tore me apart for like a bit. <laughs> also, Gurren Lagon. Chico Bro, how do you feel about Fred today? I don't know. Uh, I don't. Who's Fred? What's that? What's that? I wonder. Is it a YouTuber? Oh, I thought your favorite was Yoshi because it looks like a Trigo. Actually, that does make sense. <laughs> um, actually, it's funny. I think um, you can see the wallpaper now on Bromart, uh, but when Vincent Plus 2 designed a banner for Discord, but then we lost like the ability to have a banner on Discord, um, he snuck in a Yoshi on there. <laughs> Paper, Paper Mario partners are cool. Oh, yeah, they're great. I love them so much. I have never played Paper Mario, but I love the style. The, the eyes remind me of Ness. Yeah, Paper Mario is a great series, honestly. I mean, I guess I would say that. I don't know. Vincent Plus 2 really liked the new one. Uh, and he had never played a Paper Mario game up to that point. But apparently people didn't like that one as much, right? Okay, so there are reinforcements. Who are you guys? I feel like there's nothing to fear for them from them, but I kind of don't want to risk it. Okay, well, let's see. Let's see. Tatiana, go save that house. All right, let's see. Oh, thank goodness. The Crimean army has arrived. Me, who, We who have suffered so much under Dayan's rule will finally be free. We can put our faith in that, can't we? If there's anything we can do to help, we'll do it. Please rescue our beloved Crimea. Oh, savior. Cool. Okay, so Mist is gonna die, so I have to be careful with her. Let's... I'm gonna bring Renolf, uh, Renolf a little closer. And I'm gonna bring Boyd a little closer. But I'm gonna have Stefan fight those two bandits. Alright, go get him. Wait, what's a weapon triangle? Okay, sword's good against them, so I'm just gonna keep Silver Sword. Okay, good. Um, shoot, I can't get to the stupid bow guy. 
Well, what if I keep missed, like, far back? Well, how much health does it... Okay, 17 out of 30. I think I could do that. I'll have this happening, just in case they sneak by me. Whoa, Flame Lance can cut through people? Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's take a look at Flame Lance. Here we go. Oh, Nephany. That's cool. I mean, it doesn't do that much damage, but that's cool. Shoot. They're just completely blocking the back. I can't do it. Yeah, we'll have Leth finish that guy off, and then I'll see if I can have Ike break through. Hey, Trico. Hello, child. Good to see you. Welcome to Radiant Wednesdays. Yeah, I can do that, actually. Okay, sweet. Who do I want to... Who do I want to hurt? <laughs> who do I want to get? Silver... Ooh, it's not good against that guy? Eh, he's Ike. Come on, Ike. You could beat this guy. He's just a big old dragon. Look, you have ether. Yeah. Oh, Ike. I'm proud of my boy. I'm proud of him. I'm proud of my boy. Okay. Uh, how far can you go, Soren? Oh, I forgot about you, Lucia. I mean, she has to be good, right? I hope so. Let's see. They all, they all have interesting backgrounds to them, and I love that. Yeah, the Paper Mario companions are just, like, top tier. Like, if they could take those companions and push them to, like, the RPG series, you know, like Mario & Luigi, that would have been amazing. Even though I know Mario & Luigi is done. All right, hopefully Lucia is stronger than I think she is. Okay, these guys can't be that good. Yep, they aren't. Go get him, Stefan. Yep. My favorites are the Yoshi, Flurry, Coops, Watt, and Bobbery. <laughs> Coops was great. I love Coops. I do love the bombs, actually. Now that I think about it, but bombs are kind of my favorite. Like, they're so cute. And I love their little, like, beep, 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 beep voice or whatever. I need to finish Sword Art Online. And Naruto Shippuden never watch Naruto in order. Naruto is kind of a tall order, but if you want to watch it, go, go right ahead for sure. I like Naruto. Um, Sword Art Online, though, uh... Try to form your own opinions about it and then go on the internet because it's a very controversial show and it, it wasn't when I got into it, like everyone was kind of just like, I think it was like fresh when Sword Art like came out and everyone was like, oh yeah, Sword Art's like really cool, you know? Now though, like people like kind of say it's like the most trashy anime to like exist. And in a way it kind of is, but I still like it. At least I like like the first season. Also, it's very sad. I've never watched Sword Online. Is it as bad as people say? <sighs> yes and no. Like, I don't... Like, I, if anything, I'll say watch the first season of Sword Art Online. Like, the first season where they just do the Sword Art Online game. And, like, I don't know. Because I can advocate. I, I really like that one. And it's really sad. And I feel like that's kind of like how the whole show is built around. But then it kind of becomes trashy. <laughs> because they kind of make it like a harem anime. And it's like, how do you have a harem anime with Kirito? Like, I just don't get it. You know? I don't want to spoil. <laughs> Naruto haunts me with how much filler it has. Oh, God, yeah. There's... Oh, goodness. The filler in Naruto. I mean, Bleach, I feel like, is worse, because what I like about Naruto is that Naruto, at least until Shippuden, had the good sense to, um, 
tie it in. So, like, they would only put filler in places where it made sense. So, like, if there was, like, a resting stop before, like, the next arc, they would have, they would have like, a bunch of filler, you know? Or a filler arc. And I don't mind filler when it's put into a good spot in the timeline. I, the, the, um, uh, I start to hate filler when it's literally like, oh man, we're about to battle Madara or like just some big, big bad. And then all of a sudden it's like a 200 episode filler, ep like arc. And it's just like, no. <laughs> Though I will say, um, I do have kind of a bit of a soft spot in my heart for, like, the hundred episodes of filler at the end of Naruto. I know they're famously, like, hated, but it, it kind of makes Naruto feel like a Saturday morning cartoon, honestly. And, I don't know, I just, like, I like Naruto, and I like part one, and I just kind of like watching, essentially, what is Naruto and friends, you know? Even though I will always advocate those filler arc episodes should not have had Naruto in it, and it would have been cool to kind of had context for, like like time skip like it would would have been cool to see other characters and have filler arcs revolving around them and then tie it into shippuden you know but no you gotta have naruto on everything i guess all right so you're still doing good lucia i thought you would be a little better um let's see how do i want to do this where's ricard did he leave oh there he is okay i could do this I can do this. I can do this. I can finish that fool off. So we can move in mist. Yeah. Okay, cool. And then Leth. Go get the mage. I don't trust the mages. Bogonon. Bogonon. Dang. <laughs> that must be so bad. Like, that cool move and then it just misses. Actually, I just realized something. I should probably check on how Jeffrey's doing, because if he dies, I'm going to feel so sad. It feels like they're getting annihilated up there. Okay, they haven't touched Jeffrey yet, which is good. They're actually doing better than I expected them to. <clears throat> let's see. Void, can you... Okay, good, you can. Uh, let's have Renolf give them aid. And then we'll have Tatiana come around the side, take out this archer. We'll, we'll go Iron Lance, you know. We'll go Iron Lance. This shouldn't be too hard. Nice. Oh, she can even go again. Nice. Good old Tatiana. <clears throat> okay, you both can you both can work it. Sweet. Uh steel axe, yes. Okay, let's go, Boyd. Let's go. Alright, and then we'll have Volk finish him off. I just want to use a knife, you know, don't want to waste, waste stuff. Perfect. Okay, cool. Uh, more reinforcements. I guess Stefan will have to defeat them as well, because he's so OP. God, thank you, Dark Elf, for, like, helping me get him, because he's so good. He is so good. Okay, is the archer down? Yes. So mist is safe. Okay, sweet. Shoot! Dang it. No. Here. All right. Heal. I just realized something. Is Lincia back there? Okay, I don't see her, so I don't think she. I don't think so. <gasps> Reinforcements. Oh shoot! I didn't even see them. That's why I need to pay attention. Alright, guard missed.
All right, here we go. Hopefully you guys can survive. Okay. I, I think they're good. I think we'll be fine. I hope we'll be fine. Okay, here we go. Thanks, guys, by the way, for tuning in to Radiant Wednesdays. I always appreciate your support. And they're about to kill Mist. Oh, I hate it when they have javelins. But thanks, guys, for tuning in. I know it's kind of been a long day, you know. I really appreciate it. Oh, God, they all have ja Oh, God, I hate javelin units. I hate them so much. Whoa, what was that all about? That was weird. Would you ever stream on Twitch at some point? Asks Yonzo. No. I, I honestly don't really care for Twitch all that much. Even though I know, like, everyone loves it. Um... Well, I just like streaming on YouTube because I like everything in one place, essentially, you know? And I don't know. Like, I don't want to just be like that guy where it's like, Hey, guys, check check me out. I'm streaming on Twitch right now. You know, I much rather prefer, like, people look in their sub boxes like, Oh, okay, sweet, YouTube, you know? I mean, I know that's not really a good mindset to go into stuff, you know? Like, it's not good for one thing to just dominate, but... Like, I just like, I just like streaming on YouTube and just keeping it all in one place, you know? I don't know how to explain it well, but that but Ike's critical hit noise sounds like a Pokemon. I could kind of hear it. Let me let me see. Next time he does like an ether, I'll try to like listen. <coughs> What's your favorite Diary of a Wimpy Kid movie? Don't think I'm a seven-year-old. <laughs> uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid is kind of underrated, honestly. I mean, it's kind of becoming a meme nowadays, but um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid is like kind of cool. Uh, I remember writing something actually like in high school and I used to kind of write these like kind of like teenage slice of life kind of things where like the narr it was the the comedy was in the narration rather than like the actual actions and a lot of people said it's like oh man your style is like a lot like Diary of a Wimpy Kid and I could kind of see it now um I think my favorite is the second one is that Roderick Rules I think it is I really love the original cast for uh, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Um, and, yeah, I do like the one where him and his brother, like, connect. I think that's also the one where he, like, works at the club, too, right? I think that one's my favorite. <clears throat> uh, my voice is starting to go out. Oh, man. Oh, man, that's... Okay. How are we going to do this? Okay, so I'm gonna try to vulnerary mist. Dang it. It's not enough. I hope you guys are able to beat him. 96% chance. Let's do it. Let's do it to it, please. Sweet. Uh, that guy is Javelin, so I'm getting kind of scared here. Though he only attacks once. If I Vulnerary, I can... Uh, I can't salvage this. Oh, shoot. I can't do that. Okay. Um. Yes. L, L fire. Let's go. <clears throat> here we go. Nice. Okay, uh... We don't have people blocking her. Can I rescue? Please, can I just rescue? No. Well, okay, you know what? Fine, alright, well, if this is happening... How much damage does that do? We'll try Night Killer. Yeah, we'll try Night Killer. Alright, please, please work, please work. Just beat him, please. Okay, and we can get that mage to finish him off. 
Okay. This can work. Elwyn, please do not miss. Just get him, please. Ho ho ho. Yeah, good job. Uh, Bastion, I think? Okay. Oh. So I think we're almost there. Yeah, Renolf is like right there now. Okay, sweet, we made it to the castle, everyone. Good job. So I have to clear it in 15 turns. Apparently that's the gimmick. So I'll have Renolf like go up there. I'll have Tatiana go up there too. Oh, I should go for that. Whatever that is. Oh, reinforcements. Well, oh wait, I knew about them because Stefan. Just run, guys, run for it. Cool. Um, you guys are still doing great. I think I could beat that guy. Let's go get him. All right, Leth. Don't die. Oh no, harem. <laughs> I had to use a list of the episodes to see what the filler arcs are. Naruto's just a... It's just disgusting with its filler arcs. I didn't watch any of them. <gasps> I mean, I will admit most of them aren't good, but there are quite a few I do like, you know? Um, geez. I'm trying to think of a few. Okay. I, I won't make any hot takes on the ones I do like, but I will say unanimously the best filler arc in Naruto and arguably one of the best filler arcs of all time. I guess it isn't even really a filler arc. It's a filler episode. And that's gotta see... Gotta know, Kakashi Sensei's true face. It is ridiculously funny, <laughs> and I highly recommend that episode if you are a Naruto fan of any sort, because it is comedy gold. And it was, I think it might be like top five Naruto episodes. Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> and it's completely filler. Uh, I'm, not, I'm saying the book because I haven't watched the Diary of the Wimpy Kid new movies in a long time, but I'd say Roderick Rules. Oh, cool. Cool, cool. Glad to see other people like Roderick Rules as well. Have any of you, have in, have any of you watched Gravity Falls before? Uh, no, though I did hear it was pretty cool. Sword Art Online is not written very well. Death is supposed to be permanent and the most compelling aspect of the story, and yet was rendered completely meaningless by a single character. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, but I mean, everyone has their guilty pleasure, you know? Oh boy, here we go. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Here we go. Oh, how I've misread, missed your half-breeds. It's been so long since I've hunted your kind. Oh no. Ha, you missed, fool. Ha, 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 ha. You can't beat Leth. Be Leth beats you up. Leth takes your lunch money. Alright. Um, yeah. It's... It isn't. I get it. Um, but everyone has a guilty pleasure, and I completely fell for all the traps in Sword Art Online, you know? Like, when the characters died, I was, like, like actually, like, distraught by it. <laughs> and just, like, I fell for everything in that show. Um, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, get away from me, please, it's Black Knight, why, sorry if that spiked, oh god, no, okay, here we go, is that the Crimean army? Where's Gowen's son? Oh, he's much improved then. 
He is his father's son after all. Contrary to my initial estimation, he may prove to be worthy. What? Him. It's him. It's so interesting how whenever Black Knight shows up, Ike always has to be like, What? You? Oh god, Black Knight, please. He is right by the... Oh my god, I can't. I can't right now. Get out of there. Get out of there, SpongeBob! Meanwhile, Stefan's just like, oh ho ho. Yeah, let's get out of here. Okay, uh, Ike, take out Ricard. I know you can. You're Ike. You can do it. I know you can. Just do it. Are you the dog of the general who led his forces to victory over General Patrine? Speak your name, Ike. Ike! He is literally doing the battle, our battle shall be legendary meme. <laughs> Ike, my battle with you will send my own name soaring to new heights of glory. Now die. Okay, that was even better than I thought. <laughs> no matter one's proven deeds, one defeat unmans us all, and so it ends. Jeez, such poetry. Goodbye, my friend. If I could save min map, I would totally have I try to go defeat Black Knight right now and just see if he could do it. <laughs> Alright, let's just go back to the castle, please. God, I'm so scared Black Knight's on his way. And I believe Black Knight has, like, ranged weapons too, right? Oh god, it reminds me of that one stream, like, with the Drake and Josh thing, where Black Knight can't, couldn't get out the door. Okay, I think I've done all my dudes. Oh no, I haven't. Okay. I'm gonna have Leth go up to the castle, uh, but I'll have Tatiana come down. Oh, actually, wait, do I? I may want to grab that. Yeah. Uh yeah, yeah, let's just let's just have her do that. Okay. Um I think we're all good. Let's start the full retreat. Full retreat. <laughs> oh thank god Miss can run. Rescue. Oh well, that's weird. Okay. You two run, please. All of you run. Oh my god, we're not gonna have enough. Oh, oh boy. Okay, run. General Torneo, run. Okay. Oh god, here we go. <clears throat> And, of course, he shoots at Soren. Shoot! That did a lot of damage. Okay. I gotta be careful. Oh, that sounds like Yu-Gi-Oh! Breaking its own rules in the anime or something like that. <laughs> I could totally get it, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I better not talk about Sword Art anymore. Even though I enjoy JoJo, I hate the fans because they're very toxic and I get discriminated against just because I love JoJo. Um, are the fans toxic? I never, I never knew that. It just see, it's, to me, it feels like I haven't really encountered the fans that are toxic. It's just that they're everywhere and everything kind of becomes a JoJo reference, you know? So I can definitely get how that gets annoying, you know? It's just because, like, JoJo kind of has... It does... 
it, its thing is that it makes like really minuscule things like the most like epic thing and weirdest thing ever. So that's kind of why it's always like, you know, this is a JoJo reference, <laughs> you know. But, you know, I will admit, like, it does kind of get, like, a little, like, ugh. Whenever I go on a video, it's like, oh, this song, it wasn't in JoJo, but a stand was named after it, and it's super-duper popular, you know? Like, Love Train. Let's see. I wrote a Diary of a Wimpy Kid fanfic. Don't ask why. <gasps> Ooh, what's the fanfic about? <laughs> uh... Shoes like the melody says, what's this game? This is Fire Emblem, Path of Radiance. Yes, not Radiant Dawn, Path of Radiance. All right, here we go. Is Black Knight following us? No, he's just right there. Just menacingly, okay. I thought he was gonna follow us. Oh, I can get to the bottom of the map here. I should do that. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. Dang, I flexing on the on the healer. <laughs> oh, I think that was a mage though, because he had light. Okay. And then Renolf. Take out the bowman, please. Wait, oh can I reach a hat? Okay, no, I can't reach a house yet, but I can take out this guy. Take him out. Good job, Renault. Shriko, you need to hydrate, not dehydrate. I know, yeah. It's funny, too, because I had a full glass of water right here. And, um... I drank it all. Yeah. I need, like, a mini fridge in here or something. Why can't I grab that? That's weird. Like, the bush wouldn't let me grab that. That's weird. I'm gonna have Leth go up here, and then she could seize the place for us. Stefan still doing his Stefan thing over here. No, he got him. Sweet. Good job, Stefan. To the surprise of no one, you defeated them all. Okay, so yeah, we need to run from Black Knight. Okay, so yeah, just keep running. Just keep running. Get out of here. I imagine Nephany just carrying Bastion, like, <laughs> over her shoulder. <laughs> okay, I think that's everyone, yep. Sorry for not typing, I've been drawing fan art. That's perfectly alright, Super Zarek Bros. Can't wait to see how it comes out. Also, Boyd's dying. Good. Great. If he dies last minute... I swear. He's gonna die last minute. No. Okay, he did, that one did 11. Do not die. <gasps> mm! You better not die last minute. I swear. You better not. Oh. Okay, I don't think they can reach him. Thank God. Oh my God. <laughs> Like I said many times, that is one thing I hate about Fire Emblem. The AI is designed to go after the weakest people. And in theory, it makes sense that they want to, like, kind of bring down your army. But I do not think that is smart <laughs> at all. I think it's smarter to have five guys go on Ike so you can defeat them, not five guys go on Mist, <laughs> you know? All right, you got me there. That episode was good. Yeah, it was, right? <laughs> gotta see, gotta know. Kakashi Sensei's true face. Oh my god, I was just thinking about that filler episode. It's really good. Okay, here we go. Yeah, Renolf can go in there. Visit Renolf. 
You're part of the army that brought the princess, are you? Yup. Oh, you've done a great thing. Yeah, we did. I've been hiding this scroll so I could give it to you. Cool. You could use it to drive Dayan out of our homeland. Yeah, sure. You could do it. Thank you. A Nihil. What? That's weird. I wonder what that is. Oh, Ike, you're out of control, man. Has anyone seen that one episode where Itachi cooks Sasuke sunny side up eggs? It. Is that like the. Is that the weird filler thing where like they. What was it? Like they, they're like hallucinating during like um, Madara's plan or whatever? I do remember that though. And it's all like Sasuke's supposed to be like cute and all that. I don't know. I have a weirdly, like, soft spot in my heart for Sasuke, honestly, because he's, like, the original edgy boy, you know? What? What? Volk! What was that? It looked like he was, like, about to faint. That was cool. All right, guys. I think it's about time. I think we could do it. I think we could take on Black Knight. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I, I'm not going to tempt that. I'm not going to tempt fate. Yeah, just keep going to the woods. Run away. Run, run away. The end is nigh. The end is nigh. Oh, shoot. Wait, if I go too close to the horse... Okay. The horse can't reach, so that's good. Okay, the horse guy can't reach uh, Boyd, so we're good there. I'm very glad. How much health do you have? You're perfect. Okay, sweet. I wish I could just fire upon Black Knight and see what I could do. <laughs> like, take this from afar. Here they come. Okay, she should be able to survive. Please survive. Please survive. Okay, good. Oh, yes, it's Black Knight. Black Knight, why? Oh, God, not Black Knight. Oh, no, even Ike doesn't want to deal with the Black Knight. <laughs> OMG, that actually sounded like Patrick. <laughs> oh, I thought that was Boyd. That kind of scared me. The only animes to make me cry was Assassination Classroom and Danganronpa 3. Oh, yeah, I heard it. I heard Assassination Classroom gets pretty sad. It sucks. I need to finish that. Even the Amanda Files said, like, you need to finish Assassination Classroom. And I like it, you know. I think the only thing that kind of made me mad is I don't really get the whole concept of, like, the class thing and how, like, um... The, like, what is it? Like, the class that he's teaching is, like, the problem class. Like, it's not that good of a class or something like that. But at the same time, I'm like... Aren't you all on the same side? Also, isn't this the only class he's teaching? Unless he's teaching the other classes. But so far, the anime has pretty much shown me that he's only teaching that class. So I'm like, no, you need to make sure that that class is the best it can be. Why are there rivalries? He's gonna blow up the earth. Uh, I can totally get how Danganronpa 3 makes you cry, though. Because, like... <sighs> Danganronpa. <laughs> Thanks for introducing super likable characters and killing them. That's that's great. That's great for my therapy. Okay. Um, should I just? I might just win the map. I'm tired. <laughs> All right, Boyd, win the win the map for us, baby. Arrive. And yet another general of Dan is defeated. I wonder how powerful you be, be you will become, Army of Crimea. I look forward to our next meeting, as I do nothing yet again. I thought this time he was gonna, like, come around our rear and, like, beat us up. 
Because, like, he one-shotted Tatiana that one time. It was super creepy. Or crazy. <laughs> Renolf Dew is a cat? Darn, I thought he was a dog. I know, I wanted him to be a... To be like a wolf or something, so bad. <laughs> He's just following us menacingly. Get out of there, Trico. <laughs> and then Isla. <laughs> That's his maniac pose. He's going to crit. <laughs> oh my god. The alternate version of Just Keep Swimming song from Finding Nemo. Just keep running. <laughs> just keep running. In the darker version, just keep dying. Finally, the villagers aren't racist against the furries. Oh yeah, that's like the first time Renolf ever went to someone. He's like, hi, Renolf! And they didn't want to, like, kick him in the face. The only anime that made me cry was... Oh! Yeah, <laughs> No spoilers, please. <laughs> no spoilers. <laughs> We still got people who want to watch Naruto. Okay. My my Lord Ike. Princess Olympia, so you came after all- Oh, it's like 515, good lord. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> I don't want to read this. I think I'm just going to end the stream, and then we'll pick up on this next time. How about that? Does that sound good with everyone? I think it sounds good. Uh, oh, wait a minute. It didn't let me save. Shoot, I do have to read this. Okay, fine. We're going to read it. Awesome. Thanks to your words, both of my friends came to understand how vital it was. I don't understand the feelings of knights, but I do understand how important your former retainers are to you. And I also understand the strong support with which they provide you. I'm happy we were able to save them. As am I. Alright, shall we return? I'm going to be fighting with them, so I should probably introduce myself. Wait, my lord Ike. Yes? As you said, Lucia and the others are very important to me. They are family. I may pressure too much, but... My lord Ike, you and the others are also irreplaceable to me, so I ask for your continued support. Of course, it's an honor. Let me save. Shoot. <laughs> My voice is dead. Oh, princess. Jeffrey. Princess. Eh, it's, it's, eh, ah, to behold you again. It's, it's, wow, that was actually canon. I, I actually stuttered and he actually stuttered. If you had lost your life today, this reunion would not be taking place, Jeffrey. Do you hear me? Be careful. Yes, Princess Lucia. Oh, uh, yes, Princess. Lucia told me of what occurred. Our princess and our country and princess now exist as one. It was never our intent to sacrifice your feelings for the sake of the nation. Please forgive us. But soft, what luck do we feel at fate's kiss? Mwah. Please stop it! Unknown, the clouds do part, the rains do stop. Heaven itself does sing and thus rejoice that the return of the one true ruler. O oh, princess, until world's end, do you vow? Do we vow to follow? We are planets of your fair blazing sun. No longer will we think of honor and dying and so as ca cavalier a fashion. That's always a plot point with anime, I find, where, you know, they, they, it's just like, don't worry, I'll die for you. And then the person's like, please, you're like my best friend, don't die for me. I see that plot line in anime so much. No matter the difficulties we face, we will choose the road that allows us to continue living at your side. Good, good. I'm happy for you. Dang, those high heels are high. Holy smokes. Jeffrey, Bastion, Lucia, thank you. Thank you, I'm so happy. With you at my side, I want to retake the kingdom of Crimea. Please lend me your strength. Of course. For our fair son, we would we would this life forswear. To you, Princess, Princess Alencia, we three pledge our eternal loyalty. I am not going to use any of them. <laughs> unless, unless Jeffrey is a bowman, I'm not going to use him. Oh! Ike! Don't go down there. Oh, here we go. Why appear now? Do you mean to tell me you purposefully waited until the battle was over? Hmm. I know how your mind works. I assumed you would attack the moment you saw me. But perhaps you've learned to judge the importance of time and place. To a mercenary, nothing's more important than the contract between him and his employer. Shall we call off our contest then? When you die here, you'll be in breach of contract after all. That's not a problem. All I have to do is win. 
ready yourself. Hmm. Sure. Why not? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Shoot. I'm gonna lose. Go get a Mike. Ike, you're using the iron blade. Use something better. You're not as overly clumsy as I had feared. It is regrettable that your weapon is so poorly made. Why do my attacks have no effect? My armor is blessed by the goddess. Only weapons that are also blessed can... can so much as scratch it. So common weaponry is useless? Is that it? You should not worry about such trivialities. You possess the sacred braid Ragnell, do you not? Finally, we hear about Ragnell. <laughs> uh, it is... Oh. It is the counterpart to my blade, Alondite. Tell me you were not idiot enough to leave it in that place. You took it with you, did you not, along with your father's corpse? Oh my god. <laughs> he left it. Ike, please. <laughs> you think I could be so stupid just to leave Ragnell in the place with his father? <laughs> you you did, didn't you? Should have mailed it to the Mox brothers. <laughs> Alright, that, that sword, the one you threw it to my father like an act of charity, the one he refused, that's Ragnell? I claim victory. I'm gonna go grab it right now. <laughs> Oh, or never mind. When next we meet, bring Ragnell. Without the proper weapon, I grow bored. Okay, so no one can hit him unless they have Ragnell. Also, by I guess. Just teleport, okay. <laughs> well, that, that kind of makes sense. So you can't even, like, scratch him. He's not even, like, a hard fire emblem boss. He's just a boss you just straight up cannot defeat. Okay, then. Well, that's interesting. Alrighty, well, that's it for Radiant Wednesdays. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, let's see. I'm gonna read the chat. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, everyone's like, bye, Trico. Oh, <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. I, yeah. Use the silver, bro. Come on, Ike. <laughs> Pretend to be somebody else. It's got thick armor, dang. The armor, the armor blessed by the gods. Oh my god. Actual... <laughs> Actual plot point in this game. He forgot the super powerful sword. Oh, I cannot believe he actually left Ragnell. Do we have to go all the way back and get Ragnell? Because that's kind of hilarious yet inf infuriating. <laughs> At least we're going to go get it, though, because I love that thing. All right, guys. Well, hopefully next time we meet on Radiant Wednesdays, we'll be go get going to go get Ragnell. So that should be fun. I hope you guys had a great way to end Wednesdays. I know I sure did. Uh, it's great when people don't die. I know we lost Jill at first, but we lost her like first turn, so I don't really even count that. So uh, thanks, guys. I'll uh, I'll see you next Wednesday. I feel it. I feel victory, and we're going to have a cool sword to go with it. Bye-bye.